John, uh, the game you play on my birthday is how the rest of my year will go. How do things look? Uh, which is your birthday? The 24th or the 31st, Cole? Uh, and as for what we're playing, let me bring up the spreadsheet and look at what I was considering. The 24th. Okay, so this coming Monday. Wow, this thing loads slow. What's up with that? There it's just a Switch version thing. Oh, it also is probably because it's just initializing too, so. Yeah. Accept license agreement and privacy policy. <laughs> Gotta do that on no. startup. Can I decline this? You can't, then you can't play the game. You must accept the license agreement of privacy policy, proceed, press A to return, or quit the application. Quit. I just want to play my video game, Activision. I don't give a f Why do I need a privacy policy for a single player game? I don't know, dude. Unfortunately, as of September 1st, 2015, we no longer offer Activision accounts to Russian based consumers. The fuck? Uh-huh. Hmm. Wait, let's start that game. <laughs> yeah, all right, there you go. We're done. We're, we're in here. Would you like Spyro part. staring at you with his eyebrow raised? Spyro posing seductively? Or Spyro really looking like he needs to poop? We pick this one. In the world of dragons. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, hello. <laughs> Give it a second. The Dad, switch load times are a little rougher. I was gonna say that was that was that was a long one. Okay, rolling. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have twelve thousand treasure, or is it fourteen thousand? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. <laughs> ugly? That does it! Aw, oh, poor guy. I'm putting on my hat! In my hat and my hammer. Okay, nasty. Oh, nice inside. shot. From inside a building, too. Like I've got some things to do. <laughs> well, there you go. And there's the plot. Dude was kind of an asshole to him, though, I guess. The adventure begins. So these cinematics were in the original game, but they were remade for this game with the modern, like, graphics and stuff like that. It looks They're really like, nice. Even for the Switch version, this looks really nice. Oh, dude, it's a really good-looking game. Rescued Nestor. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so another thing I am aware of from the Spyro games is that uh, they redesigned every dragon in this game, and apparently mm -hmm. uh, it really was a positively received by the furry community, or scaly, <laughs> whichever way you want to word it. Because, yeah, I have I already seen a bunch of people in chat say, like, why are all the dragons so fucking hot? Like, hot or daddy or, like, other things like yeah. that, really. <laughs> Uh, never changed. Yeah, it costs <laughs> a thousand percent. <laughs> I think I saw someone say, like, yeah, no, they hired a bunch of furries in, in, uh, on the actual Toys for Bob team. And it's just like, yeah, it shows. They did a good job. Mm hmm. So, some good stuff going on in Spire here. Your goal, it's a collect a thon game. Uh, gotta go and get the treasures, save the dragons. Pretty simple plot. Do I only have fire breath or do I also have fire ball? Uh, you only have Fire Breath. Fireball comes from special power-up gates that you may see later on. I forget if those are also in this game, too, if that's just a later game thing. But for right now, you're limited to your Fire Breath. Okay. You can charge with the square button to basically run faster. 
Or I'm, I'm sorry, the left button. Which by the way, the soundtrack the... is by Stuart Copeland, the drummer for the police. I do believe that I'm... is correct. I've heard that, yeah. Vinny had to ban the word daddy in his chat. Word is still banned to this day. No fucking <laughs> that is, way. That is also correct. Yeah, that means Vinny he is weak. He is weak. We found Vinny's weakness. <laughs> Finally, Gone, our Vinny. time to rise and defeat him has arrived. Gone, you have Vinny Vine Sauce. <laughs> All that's taken is the power of daddy. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch you. Keep your horns on, Spyro. <laughs> you have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. So Sparks, pretty self-explanatory. He's your health. Yeah. He has three that, stages that's the dragonfly. to him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is Vinny weak or is his chat too powerful? If you cannot withstand the power of your own chat, you are weak, unless they are intentionally being antagonistic. Having daddy issues or being into daddy dragons, that ain't issues. Well, it's a different type of issue, I guess. Vinny's chat tends to troll him a lot, from what I've seen. So. It's also true. It's not like the chat here doesn't troll yeah. me. It's true. Just, I, it's just I tend to roll with it a lot. Hey, you figured out that puzzle. Well done. I did it. But I'm not doing that yet, so bye. That is one of the flying stages. May I link to the account for the character creator who does great stuff? Yeah, go for it, Cole. So are all, all the other dragons total daddies in this game? Isn't Aren't, like, the vast majority of the dragons you save in this game male? I think that actually is the case. I know that their uh, designs... Keeping that whole aspect out of it, I think... I remember the designs being pretty good from what I saw. They're good designs, yeah. And I think they're, they are majority male. I don't actually remember if there's any female dragons. I believe they all are Spyro 2. How dare you assume I would troll you? I don't have to assume. I know for a fact. It's not an assumption when you have concrete evidence. James, I see what you did there. So you're saying Vinny can't handle the scale of the fandom. Yes. <clears throat> Look, man, my Sona's a fucking Hydra. Like, I was ready for this. <laughs> I was ready. Uh, well done. Okay. So skill points are gotten from different challenges throughout the game. Uh, basically, they earn you an extra life. Oh, okay. I was wondering what they actually were. So, again, for clarification, my only experience with Spyro the Dragon as a series is on stream. We have played Spyro 3, like, three separate times, I think. But Spyro 1, I've never played, and... Um, we played one of the PS2 ones, the one that has a glitch that you can skip to the very ending of the game. And we did that. We, we absolutely did that. Cool, Flash. Do that again. The sheep looks so helpless, new scorcher. The portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must <laughs> I forgot his watermelon. Other artisan lands. Why is one of the members of Fly the Concourse voicing a dragon in Spyro 1? <laughs> I want to jump in the nostril. Let me jump in the nostril. Sadly cannot. Okay, so we got side rolls. Yep, L1, R1. L1, that I think was... Keeps the camera behind me, which actually is pretty helpful. Sorry, I keep like thinking like PlayStation controls with this, because that's why I've played it on the most. Like I've 100 percent of these games like a few times, and they're very, very enjoyable. Where's the balloonist? Uh, I liked it so much I did it for my charity block. Oh yeah, you did too. Yeah, I did the uh, trilogy bid war sort of thing. It was, it, was a, it was a good time. Because dragons are from New Zealand like smog. Eh, touche, got me there. Should I go into the warps or am I done, have I done what I can do here at the moment? It looks like I've done everything I can other than go uh the gates. There's still, like, gems and stuff you can collect in other areas, but feel free to explore Stone Hill or Dark Hollow or anything else around here. Oh, right. Spyro can't swim. Yes. Oh, you could just jump out of the water, actually. You don't have to stay there. Oh, I thought that killed me because the controller vibrated, so I thought it was dead. No, you can uh, exit the water. There's certain waters that can kill you, but if you can jump out of it like that, then you can survive. 
Oh, you know what? You just reminded me of something, Nick. Hang on a moment. Where is it? I need to do something for me, John. Let me see if I can find it. Alright, so we're missing one dragon. And a surprising need... amount of uh, gems still. I need you... Where is it? Where is it? Can I even get that last dragon right now, or do I have to wait till I get some ability? Or are there even any abilities for me to get? Uh, people said not even. It's Spyro 2 that you get, like, power-ups and stuff. Uh, yes, Spyro 2, Spyro 3. Oh, actually, wait, here's the path we never went. Never mind, we're good. So do me a favor real quick. Uh, go into your pause menu. Yep. Hit right, right, or R, 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 R. R, 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 R. Left, 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 left. Left, 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 left. Down, up, Y. Down, up, Y. Okay, something unlocked. All right, now go back to your game. Check out your front. Amazing. Pride sunglasses. Amazing. E exclusive to the Switch version, for some reason. Sick. Let me know if you want some other cheat codes, by the way. <laughs> Rescue Thomas! Hey, Spyro! Press the jump button twice to glide. And... and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Amen. All dragons found! Well, you did it. You got all the dragons. Now you just missing some gems. Yeah, let's grab the gems. Let's keep these six sunglasses on. I believe in the Switch version, if you hit the left stick down, Sparks should point to some gems for you. Yes, he does. Okay. That was an unlockable thing in the previous games, but they made it a bit easier for you in this game by just giving it to you immediately. I mean, that makes sense, because I know I've always heard 100% in these games kind of annoying at times. A little bit. Because, like, I watched uh, one of my past girlfriends play through one of the Spyros. She said she grew up with it and she loved it. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, I have no real... The only Spyro time I've played Spyro at all is on stream. Oh, yeah, Town Square's right there, too. Another fun level. What I love about these games is just, like, the different, like levels within these overworlds like there's just a ton of different environments you can explore it's a very creative series one of how many x's did you have uh six hmm. yeah five or six Lucas Lucky 7? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Well, now you got me actually thinking. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> what? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, actually, she might be actually lucky number seven. She's either lucky number seven or my lucky number of eight. So, uh, yeah, either way, lucky. Did they make tree tops easier? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so I'm still missing <clears throat> three, still cool. and they are to the right somewhere. To you. No, to your left. Hmm? Oh. Left side. Other way. Oh, the tail. So is the tail pointing the right way, or is it the head? His head. His head. Because I'm going to be real, He his shape right now is that of a hand pointing a finger, and having him the actual tail of him pointing the correct way makes way more sense to me. I like to think of him more like an arrow, I guess, if that makes any sense. I guess, but he gen he like honestly looks like the tail should be where I'm supposed to go. It straight up looks like that's what it should be. I can see why you think that. Yeah. But there they are. Either way, they are right there. Okay. Like his his body, like right now, looks like a imagine like a closed hand with a mm -hmm. finger pointing out. That is the shape he looks like to me. 
I can see the arrow finger. as well, but the arrow doesn't fully grasp me immediately because of the shape of his body, there's no top half of the arrow point. It is literally, right. it looks like an arrow where the top half has been removed. There's one long ass finger. Well, there are a lot of fucking gems to find, so break out the long ass fingers to find them. <laughs> All right, let's go find that one that we did the button thing for first. Let's start there. Oops. Ah, sunny flights. John, do the big head code. Up, 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 R, 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 A. So, welcome to what are basically your bonus levels. Oh, for, oh, it's inverted. Ew, 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 ew. Replace, return, change, change. <laughs> Cannot change it, actually, sorry. Fuck off, I hate it. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best to adjust. Oh, <laughs> uh, god damn it. All right, You'll get used to it. Oh, and that was a fun minigame. Well done. <laughs> I pressed Y, which stopped my flight immediately. As I have no Spyro or Spyro experience prior, or not enough for doing these stages, I had no fucking clue it did that. It's all a learning experience. Remember, almost gifted. Ouch, that hurts. I still don't like in I still don't like inverted flight controls. If you're gonna give me inverted, at least give me a cursor, all the Star Fox. I'll accept it if it, if I can have a cursor. At the very least, this is not required. It, oh wait, hold on. Mm, that's camera though. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be the same. Oh, so the t subtitles menu there. Uh, there were no subtitles on this original release of the game. The dragons just spoke without subtitles. Oh yeah, no, that was common. Like PS1 games, they didn't give a shit. Well, yeah, but this game did it too on its release, and that was kind of rough for people who were hard of hearing. Oh, oh, so they added that in in a patch. Oh, wow, okay. Yes. Get in the boxes first, nice. Got those. Okay, hitting the walls is not the end of a run, thank God. It is not, no, only falling in the water is the end of a run, or running out of time. Oh, there's a timer. Oh, didn't notice that. Thanks for pointing that out. It was kind of tunnel visioned. You can get more timer back from uh, destroying things, as you just saw there. Yeah. Basically, like, doing your objectives. I'm better Choo -choo. at behind me, and I fucked up by just doing the straight path. Or was it on the other set of tracks? Uh, I have not seen it. I don't know. All right, let's try again. Help. All right, well, the la the actual sensible thing to do, which I don't know why I chose not to do it, is I should be going the opposite way as the train, because then I can just do this. Yeah. <laughs> this is the move that act. Okay, never mind. That's why it doesn't make sense. Okay, well. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta watch out for the front of the train. I mean, it, it worked for the other ones. I'm like, eh, maybe. No. no. What's up with the gates? Oh, you have to fly through those. There are four different objectives. You usually have to destroy things, or fly through things, or illuminate things. It doesn't show me the objectives until I either do them or fail? Yeah. All Don't right. worry, later get better about this. Oh god, oh god. Oh. Invert, invert. Do I have to go in order? No, nah, you don't have to go in an order. As long Sick. as you get them all, that's what matters. I saw the number three, so I'm like, oh, I guess I gotta do that one third, and then I realized they all said third. No, nah, that's the amount of seconds you get from doing it. Three, two, one. Oh, fuck! Aw. Oh. Hit that water. Yeah, these are these are tough stages, I will say, especially for someone playing Spyro for the first time. I do remember my ex hating these. I do remember hearing a constant barrage of ah. Honestly, I would say the flying stages are probably at their hardest in the first game. Oh god. 
So, you know, great first level to pick. <laughs> yep, it's me. It's me learning through the in the worst possible way. Well, it's got to happen eventually. And apparently, uh -huh. like, they're in the whole fucking series. So I guess I got to get used to them if I'm going to ever play this series. All right, uh -huh. that's the treasure chests. Let's focus so on the ever, next. If you were to hypothetically do this for game clearing, would you 100% it? Uh... What's the time difference between the two? That's the kicker. If it's like like an hour or two time difference, yeah, I'll do it. If it's like the difference between a 20 hour game and a 30 hour game, absolutely not. You might add on an extra like five, six hours potentially. It, it just depends on how long it takes to get 100% of the stage. That's a maybe then at that point. Mm hmm. Myself enough time to do this one. One of the bit rougher to 100%, but at least the later games are a bit better about that. In terms of like the the flying stages. No, nope, we're not gonna make it. There's no way to fly faster, is there? No. Oh, and the planes are something I need to take down. Oh God. Yes. Say so for a base game clear in this game, you do not have to do the flying levels. Two and three have backtracking, less so in one. All right. Two is backtracking is probably the worst of the two. Three definitely has it there, but it's not too bad. But they both have a little bit of backtracking to them for 100%. If I touch the sides of these, am I going to get stunned? No. Okay. Good. No. Spyro! He does not change his direction very fast. Not necessarily, no. I forget if pressing like the bottom button on this would actually make you flap up a bit. Okay, you oh, do. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I forgot okay. you can kind of do a roll. And there's a reverse roll, too. All right. I wish I knew that when I was playing this game. <laughs> I think I'm just going to... Oh, there's no, there's no restart button. Of course there isn't. There's not. You'd have to go into the water to restart. God damn. Well, then, fine. I guess you don't have to when you... You have that option straight up. All right. Mm -hmm. Also, keep in mind, you don't have to do everything in order. You can get, like, let's say, for example, get like one or two gates and then move All on right. to something. But like I noticed there's an all in one entry on there. Does that dictate a difference in 100 percenting the game or not? Um, I think for later games, yes, but not one. Oh, no, 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 there is because there's a gem reward for getting all of them at once. Yeah, there's a bunch of yeses, yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I had to, had to remember that one. I would not count skill points for 100% personally, Hunter. I don't know, I, I never counted skill points for 100%, because I always just felt like extra little things. But does the game count it for 100%? That's really the question. No, not really. Like you, you can get like the hundred percent, and it will not count the hundred percent or the uh, the skill points as part of that. No, oh, I think I actually fucked up. So I'm not gonna be able to make it over to the remaining gates in time. Uh, oh, maybe. Actually, hang on. Let's try it. This might be risky, bisky. It's my favorite Shantae character. I don't play more of those games. I've only played. Uh, Risky's Revenge and half of Pirate's Curse. They're good games. I like that series a lot. Mm hmm. I always recommend them if you want a good, chill Metroidvania to get into. For sure. Please tell me I can fly over this. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Again. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Because <sighs> it's right there. Fuck, no. so close. That was a great attempt, otherwise. Like, that's your best attempt so far. Yeah, I'm just gonna figure out the correct order to do these in is the problem. Mm-hmm. Because gaining time is not the most, uh... easy to do, I've noticed. Getting three... It's like, it takes three seconds to get to a plus three seconds, for the most part. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the hard part about this, is you cannot be wasting time. Or you have to do something like that, where you try and get like multiple things at once in a short amount of time, so that you have more time to work with.
And again, it would be easier if I had an actual fireball. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go for gates, then we should have just enough time to come back and get a train or two. And we can go for treasure chests. Hello. There actually is also an option uh, in the... Ten minutes or so from now, why? The idiot is out and again. Uh-oh. Okay, I will check on the idiot when, when break is. Okay, I'll check on him during break. Promise. Love you. Ah, I think I should have gone for the treasure chest. No! Wait, the yeah, train! I should, I should have gone for the treasure chest. Dang. So there actually is a option in the sound menu to change between the reignited soundtrack and the original soundtrack. If you just really wanted the original soundtrack with the uh, newer, nicer graphics. I love when games have that option to Is, is this have, the original have... I'm listening to or the classic? Um, Because I can hear this sounds PS1-ish, that era. I think if you hit your start button and go into the volume option, you should be able to see it there. Or sound option. Music read. Yeah, there's also dynamic tracks too. Eh, this isn't the original. Spiral one soundtrack I am not as familiar with. <laughs> Did it not save the change? No, it should have. Or does it only load when it there's an actual loading section? No, it, it's interchangeable. Like if you put it on, it should change immediately. It doesn't sound any different. Dynamic just means when you charge. Okay. Hey, I can kind of hear it like on that sound right there. The uh, kind of the more like the original Copeland style. I'm gonna leave that one guy there, and I'm gonna hope for a miracle when I come back. But I might have fucked myself over because of that. I think turning around a loop to get him was gonna take too long. Loop de loop move or not? Take the loop de loop and fold. Go missing stuff, John. Yeah, the remixes are pretty faithful. Nothing sounds too, too different. Oh, okay, good. We did get that. Wow. Okay. Nice, I thought nice. that was a miss. I thought that was a miss. I mean, trains. Did I line this up right? If I line this up right, we'll make it right back to the. No! Oh, we got it. Oh, my God. Get that plane! Let's fucking go. Nice. Uh, 6.4, baby. Well done. Should what I try again? Run. Absolutely not. Neat. Who pointed that out? Uh, that was Shadow War. Thanks, Shadow War. Point that out. Okay, cool. I don't have to go there anymore. Oh right. yeah, you can't. Uh, I can't what? Oh, the the whole like uh, breathing fire and like moving around in the level transitions. All right, we got enough time to start one other stage because I spent a lot of time on that one. Sorry. Uh, so where should I go? The one you were just at. That's a pretty short stage, actually. Which one? The one you just passed. Oh, the one in the a maze. Dark Yes, uh, Dark Hollow, I believe, is the name of it. That one's a pretty short stage. Night, Biggs. Have a good night. Later, dude. Mmm, chunky. Okay, I thought that was the feed doing that. No, nope, that's the that was the game. That was the game loading. Dang. Want to get Big Head Motor Truck? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll pop that on here in a second. All right, we got Big Head. Would be here it is. Quad R, quad R A. Up, 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 up. R R R R A. Uh. R R B. Oh, thank you, because that was definitely wrong. Uh. And then B at the end of it. Or wait, no, no, no it was. Yeah, it's on. It's on. 
Oh, okay, never mind then. I was looking at the damn Xbox controls. Big sunglasses. Even bigger sunglasses. Frogs. Burn so the frogs. Always, so there'll always be frogs and other small creatures you can kill that basically are health restorations. Okay, I can't break this yet. Do I need some yes. ability that I don't know yet? Check out the front of it. Or does it actually just need a key? Oh, it just straight up needs a key. Okay. Yep. Gotta find a key somewhere. Ow! My giant <laughs> head made me a bigger target. So metal enemies. We'll carry around metal things, can't flame them. Rescued Alvin. Does he have a big head too? No. Sadly, no. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Goodbye, Albin. Thank you, dragon. <laughs> Olmec? Ow. My giant head keeps making me a huge target. Frog, give me help. Now I'm gonna roast some campfire. Roast, uh, roast me some frog. marshmallows at the old campfire. You ever had frog legs? No, I, I have had me. crocodile though. Same actually, I love crocodile slash gator meat. Yeah, it's surprisingly, I... they, they the joke is it tastes like chicken. No, it actually did taste like chicken. It does. Also, you picked up a blue butterfly back there. Sometimes uh, the creatures that give you health will sometimes give you a blue butterfly. It basically is a instant full restore and an extra life. Nice. And an extra life. Yep. Oh, you weren't kidding. That's the end of the stage right there. Mm-hmm. Like this north with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. Is, uh, there are no, uh, no, not, what's I'm looking for? Someone asked if, about a rabbit. A rabbit? I can't find it out. Someone was asking, like, have I ever had rabbit? I was gonna say, oh, yes, I have, I have had rabbit. Uh, I have unfortunately caught a rabbit, and with, my dad taught me how to skin a rabbit, and that is exactly why I don't like rabbit. <laughs> Mm, because the the image of having to skin a rabbit is still in my head, and it will never leave my head, and it sucks ass. I'm sorry to hear that. Between the smell and the actual process of skinning an animal alive, yeah, no, I'm good. Mm. Thanks for other. I've not had rabbit before, but I have had a uh, deer before. Deer meat is excellent. I love deer meat. Wait, alive? No, 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 no. Did I say alive? Sorry. Did. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, no, I definitely did not skin it alive. Holy shit. I was like, Jesus, John. Holy shit. <laughs> My dad's pretty fucking hardcore, to be fair. Uh, but no, no. Thank God it was not alive. Yeah, uh, thank God. <laughs> Sorry, I misspoke on that. Yeah. I have been noticing since I've been on Vivance, I've made a lot more weird, like, misspokes. Misspokes. I can't even say the fucking sentence. <laughs> I misspoke's misspoke. good. Yes, you did. Thank you. Would you like to be pointed to the direction of the key or nay? Uh, I mean, I'm going to look around and see if I can figure it out myself. So, hey, the home okay. is right there. That's so fast. Yeah, dude, these early levels are really short. So I'm going to peek around here first before I go in, just in case. Yeah, I figured there's going to be gems here at the very least. Oops. Right, inverted. That's annoying. Man, I was scared and out. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't affect it at all. Never mind. Why do I think it did? You said you wanted some gator, Vincent. Yeah, first time I had it was when I was working up in North Dakota. Uh, we had some guys from Louisiana make some gator etouffee. Oh, nice. Oh, I get it. Hang on. No. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. You I, got thought he was, I thought he was still alive and was very confused. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, that counted? Huh. I was surprised too, because I definitely thought I, it didn't. Yeah, I've heard bear meat is really weird. Bear meat's weird. Moose meat's yeah. all right. Uh, I'm not super huge on it, but I did remember liking it as a kid, depending on how it was made. It's very tough, I guess. Mm-hmm. Because I know someone in chat earlier was asking, what's moose meat like? Oh, another interesting thing about this game. That five gem you just collected, it's only blue in this game. Other games, it's purple. Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. What's the right, action button? Know, yeah. The top what is button. The act what? The top button. Oh. oh, not that one. As in, like, the top, like, the ABXY. I think it's the Y button or the X button? It, it's, it's one X, of the two. Uh, it, oh, there we go. There you yeah, are. It, was, it wasn't doing anything earlier. I literally went through the whole button set. Maybe it's a hold still. I don't know. That was weird. No, I have to move. Oh, no, no. Okay now, okay, now it's working when I'm not moving. That was weird. Weird. I swear it didn't work. Yeah. Pressing the... Saying press the action button does not narrow it down. I mean, they have to do that because... I know, get why they have to, because this is the same for all versions, but yeah. Yeah. Use the key, I assume it's automatic. And that's all gems, and we got all dragons as well, right? That you did. Level so, complete. Cool. So how many worlds does this game have? Um, I made a spreadsheet for it at one point, because I was gonna use it for something, but I never actually bothered with it. Let me see if I can find it. I like they say like 14,000 gems? Yes, but some worlds will have way more gems. Like, this one only had 100. You'll have some worlds later with, like, 500 or so. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was like, seven or eight levels, I think. Let's see. Even the PS1 version says action button? Interesting. You can exit a level in the menu. Oh, yeah. Do I have to... I don't have to get to an end gate to actually finish the stage, right? Well, um, you... Yes, but also it was good you did that because you actually have to at least take one of those portals to open up that boss stage you saw earlier. Uh... Yes, yeah, so you at least want to do that for one of them. I found that out the hard way <laughs> when I was doing my uh, preparation work. What do you mean by the boss stage? You mean up here? Or... Uh, you saw it earlier, actually. Do you remember that sealed sort of door? With like Wait, the big so dragon not, not this one? No, not... that door doesn't do anything. Okay. It was the dragon head, dragon mouth thing. Oh, the nostrils. Okay, yeah. Yes. There's a boss stage back there. You have to at least beat one world to get to it. So would it open now is what you're saying? Yes. And that answers that. Should we fight Toasty? I will warn you, it's just it's another stage. Boss fights are weird in this game in that they are full stages rather than like just a boss fight. Try up, left, down, right, up, Y, R, Z, R, L, Z, L, up, right, down, left, and up, depending on what button you hit. For the final input, the code like BXY, right, or down, if you want to change back to the normal spiral colors. What? That's like to switch spirals colors if you want to switch like any of his colors. Try it. up, left, down, right, up, Y, R, Z, R, L, Z, L, up, right, down, left, up, and X. Ew! Yeah. I, 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 the standard dragon colors, I guess. <laughs> I hate this lime green. It's like a shiny Pokemon that's just lime green. It's so gross looking. <laughs> oh, I hate that so many went with lime green. Also, there's a good I, 29 plus levels in this game. Hey, go hop We'll go with that. Even I, it's just I, as gaudy. It's just as gaudy. Actually, if I count all the flights in here. Yeah, there's like a good like 29, 30 levels in here. Confronting Toasty. There's Actually, six the hubs, kind of artisans, like peacekeepers, that. magic crafters, beast makers, dream weavers, and machinists. All worlds except the final have five uh, stages and machinist has six. Hang on a moment. Uh, 
Okay, so Machinist doesn't actually exist. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's not actually one of oh. the worlds. Well, I thought that was going to be a friendly character. It's actually artisans, peacekeepers, magic crafters, beast makers, dream weavers, and North Nexus. Machinist. Uh, so the reason I say six worlds because that was actually some cut content. I know the wiki says that, but that's actually incorrect, and I don't know so why. So that's it says why it, it says five or maybe six worlds in the opening cutscene. Yes. Wait. I, oh, he took. I did not burn him enough. These dogs suck. I, I burned him, dogs. so I thought he was he was dead. Nope. No, they they take two hits and they uh, they have a bit of a lock onto them. How many gems are there here? A hundred. And there's one dragon, gems. which I assume is behind Toasty. Nice. Oh, there's well the dragon. Done. Well done in that. Well, yeah, I especially had to be careful because I do not have uh, a dragonfly at the moment. Which is yep. also why I've not been getting these gems automatically. Yep. That's another thing about losing sparks. You gotta pick them up yourself. Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue! Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Was that Toasty? That was Toasty just now, yeah? Alright, that looks like a boss arena, so I'm gonna make look around here and see if I miss anything first before I commit. So I have no way of getting a dragonfly at the moment. Like, I'm just... <coughs> I'm just SOL. A little bit, yeah. Neat. Oh! Yeah, by the way, they, the dogs have mid-air control as well when they dive. That's also what makes them kind of bastards. <laughs> Alright, so where does this put me back and with what? Uh, full dragonfly at the dragon, because it's basically a save point, or a okay. checkpoint. But I didn't lose any gems? You do not lose gems. Once Thank they're collected, god, alright, that's good. Yep, this game is very nice about that. It's not like Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah Banjo-Kazooie okay. still gets... How the fuck did you not get hit by any of those other blasts? Banner Kazoo still gives me nightmares about that. Mm hmm If you two would like nightmares, it is out on the Switch, I think, today now. Hooray! Yeah, I wonder how people are going to feel about that whole, like, the notes not be staying permanently grabbed. Yeah, we'll see. I get the feeling some people will not be happy about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I, th I think I got everything I can get here other than what's in that last room. Uh, yes, you should have collected everything by by this point. Yeah, I got seventy two. So there, are, so I'm not missing any gems. You are not. No, the the rest of your gems are uh, past this point. To, past the points you've like, already explored. Okay. The well, one thing that really bugged me about Band Kazooie is finishing that game. You end up with two extra jiggies that you could do absolutely nothing. Hey, it's just leeway. I get why it's there. It is. But it bugged me as a kid. That's fair. That's entirely fair. Oh, the dogs are gone. Interesting. Yeah, I remember all the dogs I killed. Well, congratulations. You beat that, the boss. That was it? Yeah, you were finding the boss the yeah. whole time. I'm telling you, dude, they're just level bosses. They're, they're really weird in this game. Yeah, that is kind of weird. I mean, again, this is the first zone, so I guess I can't be shocked. Still a little surprising. I expected a... I expected, like, at least, like, what Crash Bandicoot has, which is a boss proper. Uh, you'll have to wait another game for that one, sadly. Okay, fair enough. There's still neat designs for the bosses in this game, though, I will say. Like, there's neat ideas going on here. Especially, like, some of the later ones. But for a more proper boss fight, yeah, you'll have to wait till Spyro 2 for that one. 
Okay. It's funny you say that, uh, Jasper the Crab, because I remember in this game, they actually, in the Reignited, they made one of the Spyro 3 bosses way easier, but like as a result of that, they also made one of the Spyro 2 bosses way harder. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. All right, well, this you know what? This seems all right. I can see why people like these games. This seems pretty chill. Yeah. They're, other than 100%ing other than those flight stages in one go, this seems like a fun, relaxing time. The flight stages are probably like some of the hardest parts, especially for like newer players. Hell, even experienced players or people who've played these games a lot will still have trouble with them because flight stages are kind of rude, especially in this game. Yeah, cool. Well, then we'll tap out here then in that case. I know I had Spyro 1 on game clearing at one point. It was on a mm -hmm. poll a while back. Oh, wow, we just did 11% of the game too. Holy shit. Yeah. But uh, I know it got overshadowed because I think the month that it went up, I put Spyro 1, specifically the PS1 version, because I think as I had written it in, like a day later, the Activision stuff happened. Like the whole, oh. the whole leak of everything that was going on, and then everyone was just like, oh, no, we don't want to touch this right now at all. Yeah. So that was fair. Uh... Oh, I didn't realize Toys for Bob did this one, too. Yep. That they did. I, I mean, it makes sense. It looked like it was the same engine. Well, that's why the rumor was that like Toys for Bob was also working on a Spyro 4. Uh, until ah. until the, the... What did they get until moved to? Until they weren't. Yeah, they got moved to Call of Duty, I'm going to assume, because that's what happened to like every studio. That sounds... Yes, familiar. it was them, and uh, the guys were making the new Tony Hawk remaster. Got moved to the Call of Duty Mines. Oh yeah, someone in chat brings a good point. Still feels weird that now this is going to be a Microsoft IP. Yep, that's that totally right. True. The adventure continues in the first game. That it does. A new rumor came up yesterday that they're working on a Crash 5 and a rebooted Spyro 4. Eh. If they can actually make Spyro 4 good, then I'll be surprised. <laughs> I forgot this is what we turned our Spyro into. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. Hi, Spyro. Big head, pride glasses. It was all fucking salmonella colored. It's good Spyro. All right, so uh, which Wait, way am salmonella I Salmonella colored, to go? excuse me? I think you meant salmon colored. <laughs> what? Yeah, but, like, yeah, I forgot that one of the <laughs> one of the symptoms of salmonella is your entire body becoming bright pink. Have you had salmonella before? No, I haven't. I, I'm, I'm very thankful because I, I'm I'm fine with my skin tone right now. <laughs> well, if you ever want to change it. <laughs> <laughs> I've only saved eight. Okay. See those Dagrons. Dagrons. Na 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 Dagrons. I don't remember so what we've done. You've done Dark Hollow, and I think you did. Uh, oh, I think you did the first level too. I want to say. You can check your atlas and see which levels you've done. The guidebook. Guidebook, yeah. It's, it's called Atlas. On Artisans, some Dark Hollow, Sunny Flight, and Toasty. Oh right, you went to Sunny Flights, right? <laughs> you went to the fucking flight level. I mean, we 100%ed it. You did. Oops, and I just lost my dragonfly, or changed the color. We did that one already. That was Sunny Flights. Yep. That's a Ryu in the background, I'm noticing. I need to finally play this game. Like, I, I, I played a little bit of it. Like, my grandma had a PS1 at her house. And every once in a while, I'd go there and play that. But, uh... Seems like this is legit my first proper time playing this, like, the first game. Because really? I've, I've played only three on stream, and no, what's the other one we did on stream? Uh, you did four. The fourth one, Enter the Dragonfly, because we cheated yes. and went to the end of the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that game is infamous for its uh, for its trick. All right. Uh, Megatech2431 kills Rhea with kindness and bullets and says, Since Roto Eve can't do the birthday luck, then here is my gift to give them luck. Oh, that's super sweet of you, Megatech. Thank you so much. And again, happy birthday to Rhodey. Here's hoping for some good luck for you. Happy birthday. Rhodey, very surprised and confused in chat, unsurprisingly. Stoney, hey, have you done that one? No, we haven't. You have not. 
Uh, happy birthday, John. It's not my birthday. I've there's still like half, got like half a year. <laughs> we'll celebrate early. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty close. Yeah, just you know, you know November eighth. You know, March fourteenth, basically. Or sorry, May fourteenth, basically the same. Well, fourteen yeah. is almost a multiple of eight. So I mean, um, happy birthday. <laughs> I mean, there are 12 months in a year, after all. It's 12. some John's birthday. I mean, that's true. That is true. Any John's in chat, happy birthday. <laughs> Even if it's not your John's birthday, birthday than my birthday. own birthday. That's how close it is. It's closer to Jen's birthday. Both my sister and Electron Jen. Happy birthday to your sister. Yeah, happy birthday to your sister. Again, still not close to her birthday, but closer than mine is. Happy Can birthday you make a phone Reese call here. for me and tell him that I said happy birthday? <laughs> I'm not calling my sister now. Why not? <laughs> just answered the phone. Happy birthday. What? <laughs> just hang up. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be like, did you did you forget what my birthday is? is she's, that's what she's gonna do. She's like, did you fucking forget my birthday? It's two weeks no, before you. yours. How could you forget? Well, I'm giving you an out here. To say somebody stupid on your stream was saying it, so it's not all the on the blame. Oh wait, no, 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 we're not done here. Oh god. Yeah, maybe she's watching. John's sister, are you watching? You no, watching? she's not watching. If you're well, John's sister in chat, type yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Watch the dragon fly spiral. If you are related to John, type yes. We'll, we'll suss you out. He eats butterflies, he stays strong. I knew it! Uh, sure. What? What? Shamrock apparently says that he is my sister. There's a lot of people that are saying they're my sister or related to me. Yeah. John, you have such a big family, dude. I'm very surprised. Did you know you are part of my family? All my siblings and I have a name that starts with J, so both you and Jen are my family. That's how it works. Amazing. Thanks, Fury. That's solid logic. Yeah. <laughs> you owe me a lot of gifts, said Albino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, happy birthday, Albino. <laughs> happy birthday, Albino. Jesus. You knew what you did at the setting you let us call. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm If it wasn't going to be a short stream, we're going to make it one. <laughs> John's just going to leave. He's just going to go do something else. This is my stream now. Let's let's go, guys. Gonna play some uh, fucking. I don't know, man. Let's just play whatever. Figure it out. Are you the new Proton John? Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, thanks, don't worry, his sister will take over. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> just another night, eh, John? Just another night. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Oh, that's how that Not works? That I didn't even know. Trouble, Spyro. Are you related to Proton John? Yes, no, but yes or nope. No, but yes, currently winning. I have a lot of family. Oh, my God. Well, you don't, but you do. Don't. Yeah, no, but yes. You know what? I think I just realized what it is. John, you're Olive Garden. Cause when you're here, you're family. Oh my god, maniacal! <laughs> fucking really? <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> so am I the Olive Garden, or is the stream Olive Garden? You I are mean, Mr. Olive, and your stream is Olive Garden. And this is your garden, <laughs> Mr. That, Olive. That's my clue name is Mr. Olive. Got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so many chats and where the breadsticks? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Where are the breadsticks, John? Unlimited breadsticks, unlimited chat members. Man, unlimited if, I had, if I had unlimited chat members and unlimited breadsticks, that would be impressive. It'd be impressive, and you'd be very full of carbs. Oh, I mean, I'm already pretty full of carbs. That's what my doctor's warning me about. Oh no. <laughs> maybe, After maybe go for a different business plan the than, than owning an olive garden. <laughs> In an actual garden. <laughs> We'll just grow olives in it instead. Home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Bye. Bye. Don't care about your story, old man. Oh, it was 
scores at the bottom. Uh, missing an egg, missing one dragon, and missing half the gems. Are you okay with people pointing out where stuff is, or would you like to figure it out on your own? I'll try to figure it out on my own first, but I'm sure there's stuff I'm going to miss. Because, again, no <laughs> real experience with this series. This is basically, like, super blind for me. Mm -hmm. Which is fair. And you put on sunglasses, too, so it's, like, even more blind than normal. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. You know, it sounds like you need your eyesight improved, and uh, let me tell you, in your garden, you could grow some carrots, which are good for your eyesight. Sure, I do like carrots. They're pretty good. Like some baby carrots, especially. Very good snack food. I love that you just ruin sheep in this game. Yeah, right? Spyro just likes murdering everything. Just full of hatred. Something's taunting me. Or is that the dragonfly eating the butterflies? Oh, having not played the game, I think I know the solution to this one. Yes. You know, as an expert. Of course. Oops. No. Spyro, my friend. How that is a paintbrush. Yeah. You bet. For Used the for the biggest canvases. Press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop. I like that they kind of diversified the dragons a little bit. Like there's... Yeah. I think I think actually is a pretty solid look that they kind of gave everyone. It is, because in the original game they all look the same. I think there were like two or three types, but yeah. You know, as the expert on this game who hasn't played it before. <laughs> Yeah, you the expert, not me, the one who's 100 percent in both like original trilogy for each game. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> hey, that's a good question. What do I know? Not like I did a charity block of this series or anything. I don't know. There's a work back. You know, I keep like zoning out and then re-realizing how ridiculous you look. <laughs> 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 Do you want cheat codes again for this, by the way? Are you good? I mean, I don't remember the cheat codes. I'm pretty sure, like, someone looked them up. I can grab some. Hang on. I mean, I just like the cosmetics, so. I'll give you a small head if you want a small head. Hmm. Isn't this, is this with Big Head on already? I can't tell. This is Big Head. Okay, that's what I thought. Let's see here. We have Flat Spyro. We have Retro Style. We have Color Change. Well, Color Change we clearly used. Mm-hmm. A thief. You know, think about Olive Garden again. Like, I recall the Sonic movie. Uh, they apparently actually wasn't even like a real sponsor they got. They just did it. Yeah, they they mentioned Olive Garden all the time because it was a like it started out as a joke, and then like the the head uh, general or whatever, did, like they just made him increasingly fond of Olive Garden as they were making the movie. I guess. Mm hmm. Which I thought was hilarious. I'm like, that's something that we would do. <laughs> just, like, come up with a, a stupid scenario and be like, ah, that'll never happen. But then they just went and made it happen. Mm -hmm. I think that's just how, like, movie writing in general goes. Is just silly shit like that. Yeah. Like, what if we just kept saying it and it just became real? Okay. <laughs> what if the Scooby-Doo gang got audited? <laughs> <That's so Yeah. laughs> this is a old stream joke for us. <laughs> Among many other stupid ass things with the Scooby Doo gang. Even older uh, inside joke is the the gritty reboot of Where's Waldo. <laughs> ah yes, where? <laughs> where? Oh my god. Uh, okay. So where is the key? Or do I already have it? You do not have it. Where have I not been?
in there. You were close at one point, but I don't think you realized what to do. And that's, I think, all I'll say. I think I just got, I might have gotten sidetracked when I started chasing after that thief with the egg. Because that's the end of stage over there. Oops. <laughs> oh, by the way, I read that as it was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Waldo died 10 years ago. It's time to move on. It was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, Waldo. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It's okay. Waldo will forgive you as well as God. Waldo is God, actually. So oh, God's that's dead. why. So you just said God is dead. Yeah. And Mets killed him. You gotta sorry. Think. It's a tragic yeah, tale we've like weaved here. No kidding. You, ever, you gotta think about like RPG protagonists for a second here. What must it be like for them to kill a god? Like, what must that feeling be like? Relief, because then they can go home and sleep. I guess so. That's true. Yeah. All right, I am on the not way sure. on the way back. You'd think they're just like, dude, I was kind of awesome back there, you know? <laughs> I just totally killed that god. He had my big sword. It was great. Could you have done that? No, nah, it was all me. It's crazy. I'm the hero of this story, <laughs> not you. <laughs> I don't know what I've missed, if anything. So I can't jump up on these, so I, and I, so I can't get on this ramp. That's end of stage down there. Oh, wait. Oh. Ooh, sneaky. Yeah. Hey, there the you go. You found One of the many rude secrets that can be in this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Is there going to be 15 left in that chest, though? That's the real question. Because if there's not, then we still got to look around and find the remaining gems. That looks like it. Nope, that was tan. Oh. Well, I am colorblind, so you know. <laughs> oh, what does it do with your ability to count? He couldn't tell what color they were, so he couldn't tell how much they were worth. You know what? That's fair, because they are color based. My mistake. And that is the absolute truth. <laughs> and not a way to cover the, me just yeah. blindly saying things. If you hit R3, someone said sparks points to a gem, but. Uh... Uh, press down on the stick to have Sparks Point. I am pressing... Did you mean... They meant L3. On the, uh, Switch stick, yeah. Oh, that's really nice! That wasn't in the original game, right? I had to unlock that in some of the games in the original. Uh. This game is just a default. That's super nice. And there's our missing one. Ah! Yeah. 100% level complete. Hooray. Hooray! We did it! Here's a $20 yeah. gift card to Olive Garden. <laughs> when you're here, you're breadsticks. Bread <laughs> when you're breadsticks, you're family. All makes sense. It was only in 2 and 3, and it was an upgrade that you had to unlock in 3. I've always thought about like when you're at an Olive Garden, just the I like the power move of just not saying stop when they give you the cheese and just seeing just how long they go for. <laughs> Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> I'm try it at some point. I'm really curious. If they stop themselves. You're like, no more. Mm. More. Oh, more. <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> just think of, like the fucking uh, Star Wars bit with uh, Kylo Ren just saying more a bunch. <laughs> so dumb, I love it. Where have we not been in this world? How many worlds are there in this area? Um, I had an old spreadsheet for this too, actually. We never used it. <laughs> um, a lot good it did you then. I think there should be one more level here you have not gone to. There should be a city level. I can't break this down.
I know you're lactose intolerant, John. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Um, I don't really have one anymore because I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah, I mean, that's what I figured, but I figured I may as well ask, like, what was your favorite memory of cheese? My favorite <laughs> memory of cheese? <laughs> you know, like, when you could still have it. What? What is the best cheese-based memory you can come up with? <laughs> Looks like I haven't been here. All right. Nope. Down, town Square. Uh, having, like, a good slice of pizza. You know what? That's fair. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, Maniacal, what's your favorite memory of cheese? <laughs> really? Uh, well, there was this one time uh, I used her to help me uh, beat the final boss of Sonic Advance 3. Is she a girl? I thought cheese was a guy. Oh, wait, no. The ch I confused her with the rabbit. Uh, cream, <laughs> you know my cream is a girl. I thought cheese was a boy. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's cream and cheese, and her name is Vanilla. Which stands for uh, Vanilla Cream Cheese. What? Vanilla's her mom's <laughs> name, though. Yeah, exactly. You're mixing up like three things at the same time without elaborating. <laughs> I know you know them all, you're just not saying them correctly. <laughs> Would you like some vanilla cream cheese, apparently? Would you, John? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, if you weren't guess... lactose intolerant, would you? Yeah. Maybe. John, if you had to, like, get rid of your lactose intolerancy, but you had to lose something else, what would you pick? What? <laughs> Welcome to the Safe system smell. I live without it, and it's great. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get Smell a is good stupid. Look. Useless sense. <laughs> I agree. I can smell barely smell. Sucks. I don't. Legitimately, uh, <laughs> kind of, it kind of does yeah, suck. What, like, what can I it? trade for this? Like, can I like trade off like maybe an inch of height? You could if, theoretically. Three inches. Three inches to to lose lactose intolerance. Yeah. Sure. It has, to be, it has to be equivalent, John. Is three inches, like, equivalent to, like, cheese or, like, uh, yeah, your lactose? <laughs> <sighs> Some great words. I just tonight. want the, the out-of-context quote, is three inches equivalent to cheese? <laughs> 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 what does that even mean? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he's gone, he's gone, he's gone off the deep end. Oh, speaking of deep end, it didn't it didn't glide. Aw. Oh. Man, we're only one game in with both of us, and we're already confused. <laughs> this, is the, this is the thing that's happening, isn't it? Oh, boy. Oh, that did actually cost me a whole life. Shit. Yep. I thought it was just going to cost me a hit. But drowning typically leads to death. Well, I fell in the water earlier, and all I did, all I lost, was like one level of uh, my dragonfly. Uh, so the reason for that's because I was like shallow water. Spyro oh. basically can't touch some water. So, but like that, uh, what am I trying to say here? Waters you can escape from, you'll just take damage. Waters like that, uh, you can't escape from, you just die, unfortunately. If you owned Olive Garden, would you still sell Italian food? Spyro. Yes, I love Italian food. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Proton John, the Fever Dream live stream. Yeah, that's... Today, I did say I was tired today, so this checks. This tracks. I can't argue that, to be fair. Yeah. Tired usually brings the weirdest shit talked about. I feel that. Some people have told me I feel like, what is it? Uh, some people have told me that if I get tired enough, I start like becoming drunk, which is an interesting thing. I know that that is a thing for a lot of people. Oh yeah, I'm the same way. I, I mean, I assume I don't drink, so I wouldn't know. But I mean, like I can infer. I'm not much of a drinker either, which is funny because uh, friends have made fun of me because I decided to do something very smart. Yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mac, that's 2020, right? Let's say I was inspired by uh, Kion, because Kion always talked about these certain drinks, right? These drinks were called IPAs. Oh. I've never had an IPA. Spyro. I thought it'd be smart to order a double IPA <laughs> as someone who doesn't really drink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, took a sip, he's like, I don't really like this. No, I didn't take a sip. I drank at least, like, a fourth of it. I'm like, this is too bitter for me. <laughs> Uh, I then, of course, was like, maybe I can make this thing, like, not as bitter. So I put some ice cubes in it. 
Uh, <laughs> they made fun of me more I for it. I forgot you did that! <laughs> oh, maniacal. I mean, an IPA is basically just beer. But it's yeah. like, like a special brew. I've realized over time, I think I like more mixed drinks if I ever do drink. Which, even then, I don't really like drinking too much. Why is that not activating? Man, it's great that I work for a liquor warehouse and I have a ton of wine at home and I nobody drinks it. <laughs> I just give it away to people. <laughs> Someone comes over like, hey, you want some wine here? Take like four bottles. <laughs> See, it's interesting because like you give away wine, which is fascinating to me because you're already full of it. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just say he's a whiner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard meds whine a lot about things. Like what? I don't know. Like, <laughs> you were just whining the other day about your channel points being gone, and that was today, actually. <laughs> I wasn't even whining, I said it was hilarious! It's close enough. Hilarious I interpreted it as whining. whining. Like, John, I like how you... uncommitted you were to your own point for a second there, Maniacal. He's like, yeah, I, I heard you whine. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can find brilliance in speaking, and I find <laughs> like, I, as long as you I, like go with the flow, you'll eventually strike gold. Gold is subjective. I get his point, though. I get his point. It's just really funny how he's presented it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. Oh, cool. I, I wouldn't say most of the time that we talk brilliance comes of it, though. Are you sure? I don't know. I think it's That's more a like, a, like a spectacular train wreck that people can't look away from. Like, oh, no, what's happening over there? Oh, I don't like that. Mm. But I'm aware of it, at least. God damn it. Why does it not... I can't glide and hold run at the same time. That is a little weird. But... You cannot, no. Well, now I gotta go the fucking long way around the entire stage. Although, I guess I can get the egg now. You get eggs all the time, though. But now I can get a dragon egg. Oh. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Did he just juke <laughs> <keep> you? <laughs> Where did he even go? Did he just leave? I think he went straight up. <laughs> he went up, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, the theme. So infamous. In this you game. fool! You know, that reminds me of, like, Gilbert Gottfried. Like, I remember seeing the Hollywood Squares clip of him going around after you fasting. You fool! That one. Yeah, that's such a good clip. That is a good one. I actually <laughs> remember watching that live because I used to watch I Hollywood brother, Squares when I was younger. Uh, oh, nice. You are his brother. Even under that At least that yeah. version of Hollywood Squares, because there's been a couple. Yeah, this jump kind of sucks. Because that wasn't the original version of the of the show. Damn it! That's such a rude turn. Oh, uh, egg. Oh. But now I gotta do the stage all over again. <laughs> mm-hmm. You heard him, chat. Give him that egg. Now, <laughs> now, please do it. So demanding, Jesus. I mean, I just want to help my friend out, you know. Ah, yeah. Okay. That that explains it. Now it all makes sense. Look, John, we're, we're, we got your back, man. Appreciate it. Whether you want us to or not. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is actually like... a threat. <laughs> We're like your secret uh, service. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, Afroblade Master, thank you for that egg. Look at your yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What? That's what I call that's what I call a fucking support, baby. Well friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. I saved Thor! Ah oh, dude, his movie's coming out too. At some point. Me, he looks a little older than I remember being in the movies. I was gonna say that's Thor? Yeah, that's Thor. Looks just like Chris Hemsworth. Looks just like that. Like Why does one. he have a vase? Ah, uh, that's where he keeps Loki, his his ashes at least. <laughs> what happened to Loki? Uh, you know. 
died, I guess. Yeah, you have to watch the movies to know. <laughs> and cremated. We don't, don't know how I feel about West talking about cremation when the well done alert came up, but sure. <laughs> is it true that it's not worth the sub through Google Play? So, uh, if you sub through mobile, it supposedly costs you more. That's what yes. I'm told. It costs like a dollar or so more. I think it's the same thing with Bits too, huh? Mm, not with Bits. It's the same with Apple's setup too. Interesting. There's an extra fee for both marketplaces. Yeah, it's five ninety nine, so it's a dollar more to sub on mobile than it is uh, to sub on like your desktop. Mhm. Mm also, I think everything is done in the artisans world now. Yeah, because it said one hundred percent there. All right, so I got two eggs, well, sixteen no. dinosaurs, and eleven spiros. Well, the artisans level itself counts for completion. Oh. Yeah, it's so like the hub. The hub worlds also have their own completion to them as well. Oh, we're skill. What? I didn't notice these skill points before. Yep. Should I have done these? Are these important? These are optional. I would not count these for 100% personally, but they're little bonus things. All bulls stuck? Oh, am I supposed to, like, head charge into them instead? Oh, never mind. Thought that wouldn't kick in right away. Wait, so this is, does this door open now, or does it always stay shut? That door stays shut. Okay. Is that supposed to be What's-His-Face's castle or something, or what? No. Oh, then what is it? It's just a door. It doesn't really do anything. I think the idea is like, oh, this is where your adventure begins from. I see you've been busy rescuing Dragon Spyro. Thanks, Marco. I mean, it just, it just makes me think, like, what's behind the door? <laughs> Are you ready to go? It's a spooky door because it never opens. Ooh. Not Ooh. original. Door is simply decoration. Okay. Peacekeepers. Ah, Spyro 2 Dude, and 3 I'm... had skill points in the originals, and they give you an epilogue for the games. This was not in the original game, it was in the first game. Got you. Now it makes sense. Now I understand I the message. Could, I thought you could still get those epilogues from just simply 100%ing it. I don't, I don't know how that was tied to skill points. So asking about the proportions. Yeah, that's because Big Head mode is on. Ta da! <laughs> Why is Final Fantasy music playing? Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Goodbye. All right, so 200 gems here, two more dragons, and an egg. Although we're at I time right they... now, so I don't know if we're going to finish and continue or not. That's your call. Oh, and it's still considered a hub, too. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Hub worlds also have their own uh, gems and everything, like I was mentioning earlier. I forget if it was mentioned the first time you played this, but uh, the, the soundtrack for this game was actually done by Stuart Copeland. Name sounds very familiar. Uh, it was a double drummer, check. right? Yes, double checking what he did. He was part of the police. That's what it was. The police. Ah, that's what it was. Skill I knew it was a notable person. But then uh, also, haha, -ha, Amanda show. Uh. Yes. There's a level in this game that has the same sort of riff as the Amanda show theme. Ah, uh, okay. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar if you listen back to back. Yep.
fire the cannon. Fuck you, rocks. Yeah, take that, you shitty boulder. <laughs> I really need to play this game. I've been saying I'm going to, and then I almost do like several times, and then I don't. Very good time, dude. I really recommend them. I know I love them. Like they're just fun collectathon platformers. There's yeah, three I of can them. see why people like these so much, but uh, I had actually planned on continuing this file at some point, and then just never got around to it because you know I'm just like, oh, gotta go play this game now. Mm -hmm. Yo, what game am I playing like this time? As in, like, on your own time, or...? Own time, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, go for it if you want to. Just, just never got around to it, basically. Mm-hmm. Sure it's, we all have several games like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just got done replaying Pokemon X earlier, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, honestly, going back through it, it wasn't too bad. Like, at worst, the characterization is kind of bad at times, but otherwise, I think the game itself is good. It's got good music to it. Um... You know, Pokemon, there's plenty of them in there, so you, there's no really shortage of choices. I was going to say, I haven't I really heard got... anyone talk hey, about Spyro. X or Y as much anymore. Honestly, they still hold up fairly well. Sure I liked them. They're sort of forgettable, but, I mean, butterfly. whenever you've played, like, 12 Pokemon games, it kind of happens, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like if I played it whenever I was younger, I would have appreciated it more. Honestly, playing it now, I think I can kind of appreciate it for like some aspects that are more prevalent in the newer titles. Uh, that just aren't really a thing there. Well, I almost got enough treasure to go to the next world, so I can just leave all these dragons alone. Mm -hmm. You could. Ooh, Ice Skyrim, that's not too bad a level. Like I said, we're not going to see any new levels because we're going to just finish collecting stuff here and then... Well, so I don't know how much progress is to save if I just stop now. Will it remember all the gems and stuff we've gotten or is yeah. it going to get cranky? No, I don't remember the gems. You just hit like quit game now. It auto saves fairly often. Oh, that's good. Damn, I need a key. Dr. Shemp. Dr. Shemp. Doctor. Medic. Never actually played TF2, but I always love the characters from it. Oh yeah, no, they're super fun. Well, you F did a great job personal. running. <laughs> Thanks for the egg. Uh oh. Oh, not the poison. Shallow poison, we're fine. Gunner. Yeah, that's what a gunner should look like. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Calmer voice than I expected for a dude named Gunner who's missing an eye. I assume they redid Spyro's voice lines, because wasn't there, like, somebody fairly notable who did it the first time? Uh, it was a voice actor for Rocco from Rocker's Modern Life, if I, if I recall correctly. In the in the first one or this one? Uh, just for the first one, on the PS1. In this one, it's Tom Kenny, like it was in 2 and 3 in the original. Tom I Ken thought that uh, was Tom Ken Kenny. I'm like, no, nah, there's no way. What am I doing wrong yep. with these things? A lock to it. What do you do then? Does it need two Hit keys? it harder. Not quite, no. There's something you could do with this. Am I supposed to use the cannons? Are you? That means yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to be vague, man. You're coming out like this. I'll let you discover it. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job on that one, John. Yeah, nice job, man. Proud of you. <laughs> Are there any more hints you don't want to give Maniacal? <laughs> Nice. I'm gonna take up the tower. You know, speaking of Rocco, actually, you guys see that he got announced for Nick All Star Brawl? Yeah, alongside yes. Hugh Neutron. Jimmy's not I'm in so the game, glad. but Hugh is. And Jenny, XJ9. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that one surprised me. But Jenny I'm down. She I'm makes a ton actually. of sense, though. She's literally a combat right? robot. Yeah. yeah. I was just surprised to see her there, like, based out of relevance. Because I feel I like nobody ever talks about that show anymore. It was a good Not show, really, though. No. I enjoyed it. Like, yeah, I, I, I really liked it. me stopping it. watching cartoons on TV was that, and, like, it was really well done. The Rocks won. Damn I'm it. sorry, John. No, they beat me in the Rock War. No. Uh, I'm still missing some gems. Yeah. And I haven't found where to use this key. I thought I've done everything at this point. Shy like I see getting there. All... Uh, like I see was saying, they were all very requested characters, is why they all got in. Rocco was, I guess, the, the surprising one. I'm like, were people really requesting Rocco the way they were Hugh Neutron and XJ9? But apparently so. I mean, that, that does surprise me. Rocco is a decent choice just for the cartoon and for the age group that's probably playing the game, but like... Yeah. I feel like Jenny and uh, Hugh make way more sense in a way. It, it's still funny yeah, in both sure. cases. Like, I like I can't believe Hugh got in, and I can't believe he got in before Jimmy did. Because like I think half like the main characters for their shows aren't even in there. Is Arnold in there yet? No. No. Yeah, Arnold's not, but Helga is. I was talking to somebody uh, the other day, and I'm surprised the Angry Beavers aren't in there. That makes so much sense, huh? That one, I think, could be a possible rights issue, because I don't even know if Nick still has the rights to Angry Beavers. I think really? The creator, the creator might have gotten them back. I don't remember. All right. All gems. Interesting. Because I remember they, saying... they didn't air the final episode of the show, so I think there was some animosity because of that. Oh, I do remember there's a like some weird history with that show now. There's I don't a remember recording what it out is, there but... of the actual like lost episode and it's just it's a fever dream. Yeah. They literally like talked about Wasn't how like, the it show like super... itself was shutting down. It was very self referential. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like super cynical. Alright, we are twenty percent done Spyro One. Nice. Wow. Cool. Alright, let's go back to the cookie then. This is this game is going to become our replacement for Kirby's uh, in the Rainbow Curse this year, isn't it? Apparently. Because is this the third time it's come up this year, or is this only the second? I couldn't remember if the first time was this year or not. I think it was. Pretty close. If they don't recognize Rosa John, they're not really your friends. They're probably going to make some yeah, glib comp. They're probably going to make some glib comment like, "Oh, I thought she'd be bustier." Or something like that. And it's like, that's why I didn't recognize it. And that's when I go in person and slap him. All right, we are 20% through Spyro 1. First time was January. Okay. Are you first complete? Yeah. Are you full, full clearing first time through or? Might as well. Okay. Remember when Is Spyro a... flew to Snoop Dogg to give him his game? What? <laughs> I want to know the story now. I feel like this is an ad, but also what? It's got to be an ad. Wait, wait. Oh my god. Hang on. I think I actually remember this. Hang on. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, this is real. Oh my god, it's real. I forgot about this. Holy shit, hang on. Come on, roll with me. Come on, dog. Spit that fire one time. I told you you had to come back. You've been gone too long. They ready for you. Come down here and holler at me one time, nephew. I'm gonna direct you in here. What? Literally in with a copy of the fucking game. Jesus. This, Unbelievable. This feels like something dumb a fan came up with. And then they all went, yes, this is incredible, let's do it, on very short notice. And it turns out perfectly. That is the only way I can explain this entire scenario. 
I just love that it's breathing fire. It's just, they just converted a drone. Incredible. Oh my god. Okay, so I think on purpose last time we played this, I cleared out this overworld area. I think that's exactly where we stopped. Let's let's confirm that. 200 out of 200, all three dragons and the egg. Yep, we're good. So we can just go into any world we want now at this point. Did you complete Stonehill? I don't think I did any actual stages here. I think I literally just did the intro area there. Stonehill was in the first up. Oh yeah, no, we did everything in the first up. All right, how many do we need here? Four hundred, four dragons, and one egg. There's the thief. Oh, shit, fuck, where'd he go? Oh my god, he's just gonna keep running in a circle, isn't he? Yep. Oh boy. Again, so for Good those class. who don't know, I didn't grow up with these games, so I have no nostalgia for the series at all. The closest thing I have to nostalgia for the series is one of my one of my exes grew up with the series, so she used to play it from time to time when we were living together. That's about it. What? Huh? Oh. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Okay, bye. Expected a little more out of that, but all right. Here we go, just run around in circles and get this one guy. I always enjoyed chasing these guys in the, um, in the fire games I played. I, I found it a, just a fun way to keep running in circles. Don't know why. Also, mm -hmm. you are very pink. Yes. Sunburn. Should I not be pink? No, I'm just saying you're very pink. And thank whatever cheat code it was that we typed in to get this. Because <laughs> I kind of forgot what the code even was at this point. To be fair, I think we had this exact discussion last time we loaded this up. And I was like, oh yeah, we have big head mode on. That explains why that looked weird. <laughs> yeah, because again, I had no point of reference. So if I had loaded this up, I just went like, oh yeah, that's his normal head size. That's right. I mean, it's it's... A cheapy ask, so I get it. Like, bigger head makes headbutts more. Oh god, damn it! I shouldn't be reading chat. <laughs> bigger heads make <laughs> headbutts more powerful. Hope that's the case. I doubt it is, but that'd be funny if that was if that was actually the case. Don't think it is. I don't think chat would have actually let me have anything that made him more powerful, so. Oh, the cactus got better. I mean, maybe it makes your hitbox larger? It might. That man was gonna hit me with a bird. So I assume everyone's just really into Spyro around here because it's just a chill time, right? Like, there doesn't really seem to be much else to it other than just kind of relaxing and just picking up stuff. 
And Dragon Daddies. Oh, and I was gonna say, I guess. If, well, I think if that's anyone, why Deep was here. <laughs> if anyone doubts that I'm in it for the dragons, I'm not sure what's wrong with them. <laughs> I guess I have to glide for someone else to grab that one. Oh god! Oh come on! Uh, my favorite dragon is just Spyro. Um, this was not my first introduction to Spyro. My first introduction to Spyro was a uh, Hero's Tale, I want to say. I'm pretty sure that was it. Um, there's two. There's a few Spyro games on GameCube, and I believe that was the one. Uh, Enter um, the Dragonfly and Year of the Dragon. No, you're the dragon's the third one. Um, I can never remember what the other one is. The second one, Ripto's? No, 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 no. The the second GameCube one, because there's oh. Enter the Dragonfly, and then there's another one, which I think that's the one with Elijah Wood. It's Hero's Tale. Um, ah, Hero's Spyro, Tale. Spyro. Spyro's band of five explosive allies must track down and destroy the deadly dark gems, which is the phrase that immediately triggered the "Oh yeah, that's the game." Um, the mysterious dragon Red has created the gems in order to corrupt the mighty Dragon Realms with evil. The ferocious five must restore the magnificence to the world, or risk losing their home to darkness. So, fun thing about um, Hero's Tale is, a you get to play as multiple different characters. It's actually fun. But B, uh, Spyro gets different breaths as you beat the different bosses. I, being the young kid that I am, never actually learned hey, how to you, switch Spyro? back from the, the breaths. Dragon I've been mm. hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh, you've known... Ah, uh, I forget. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I beat the first boss. After you beat the first boss, you get lightning breath. So you have fire and lightning breath. I never paid attention when it was introduced how to switch breaths. And there's no, like, tutorial that makes you switch breaths to make you learn how to do it in-game. Like, no, like, interactive tutorial that some games do. Which would have been perfect. Um, so I beat the entire second level using only lightning breath. Which is... A feat, considering that's not supposed to be possible. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to, for a number of different places, switch back to the fire breath so that you can, like, burn stuff down to get to, like, ledges or whatever to jump from. It's... I don't know how I did it, but I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I was a very dumb child. <laughs> Eh, you still beat it, that's the important thing. I only beat the second, um... I think oh, you after actually the did second not world, beat the whole game? Um, other fun story. Um, this is where I learned- this game is where I learned what happens when you pull a memory card while a game is trying to save. Oh, RIP. I got to the final boss. RIP. And... Something happened, and I do not remember if the memory card came loose or if my mother was annoyed at me for playing video games too much, but there was an interaction, my mother was involved, power to the GameCube was lost, and my save got corrupted. That fucking sucks, dude. So, it was, uh, real sad. I have yet to go back and... Well, no, that's a lie. I have gone back and beaten the first world. But I haven't gone through and, and played the entire thing again. I should do that sometime. Hell, I, I should start I could see sometime. that hampering your, your want to do that. It, it was still a fun game. It's just... Going back, not being the young kid enamored with dragons, because I've always been enamored with dragons. Um, there are definitely some parts of it where it's like, this is tedious. There are some parts where it is just tedious. All that, and then there was one with a key. Shit. 
Oof, that's unfortunate. Have you or anyone on CoCom heard of the game God Field? I learned about it yesterday and become obsessed with it. It's this little Flash website card game, but it can get a little heated. It makes uh, your friends hate you kind of fun. A little bit under Uno. Nope, never heard of it. I don't think I ever got in a situation where my parents made me lose progress in a game from, like, ripping out a memory card or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure there's been a situation where I was playing a game that didn't have saving and my parents demanded I turn it off or something like that. Would not shock me if that was the case. The old classic. I also remember trying to beat Mortal Kombat before the school bus showed up and actually succeeding. Uh, and then the bus showed up as the credits were rolling, so my mom had to drive me to school. Luckily, she worked at the school, so it kind of made that easy. But definitely she was very unimpressed, like, why? Why? You, you should have been taking the bus. That's like the only one kind of like that I can remember. You know, ignoring the fact that I was like, what year did Mortal Kombat come out for Super Nintendo? Like, what, 93, 92? You know, the fact that I was like 8 and playing Mortal Kombat 1. Like, 94. Before. Okay, so I would have been uh, 8 or 9. Uh, SL, I could not be partners in time because I wasn't allowed to play long enough for the final fights. Partners in time has, I think, three consecutive boss fights. And sh another fun story, I never learned that you could use the roulette to put points into anything other than HP. Oh god, you too? Emil has the exact same story! <laughs> so when I played that game, I got- I managed to, through a lot of combat and, and building, get to the final boss. I just could never beat it because I would never be able to- actually deal enough damage before my HP went away. Because right, I had no damage. Gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. Hmm. He didn't seem to believe that statement. Someone said they dropped... Where did, hey, where did that go? Seems like they dropped the TV on their memory card. Whoa. I can't even find that. Who said that? Oh, yeah, there we go. Commander Keen. I had a TV fall on a memory card one time. Jesus. Your mom let you play Mortal Kombat at that age? I mean, the ESRB didn't exist yet. That game was unrated, so she didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know how to do any fatalities, so all she saw was just a bunch of punching and kicking. Apparently, Chaos Diva also had the same problem. Because, yeah, I literally... Uh, about moving the um, moving the pointer. Because I didn't learn that you could move that pointer until I watched an LP of it. And if it was Chug... If Chugga has ever done an LP of, of Partners in Time, which I think he has... Yes. It was Chugga's LP that I learned about it. And when I heard that story, I went, I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> Yeah, Emil has told that story where he, like, in the, the whole series, he didn't know you could move the, the reel at all. Okay, I definitely jumped to the wrong spot. So, no, you guys aren't alone. It's just funny that uh, that happened to a number of people now, apparently. I see all these goodies up there. ESRB ratings are fun. Go. This should lead to something. He bought when I was three or four years old. I apparently kept erasing my mom's files in Zelda so I could write my name. Oh. <laughs> 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 
mean, that's still like at least a cute story though. Like, can't get super mad at like a three or four year old doing that. My parents had their own like memory cards and stuff. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Thanks, Flame Baird. Boiled with a pinch of salt. All dragons found. We got the key that we need for that one chest. That is Baird. Yeah, it's Baird's VA. Almost wouldn't be surprised if we heard Greg in here somewhere. I'm gonna assume this isn't gonna be 25 diamonds, so I wonder where the ones we're missing are. I think usually these treasures have been 10? Crashing out in the meat circus before the final boss in Psychonauts. Nope, actually, what's that? That sucks. Oh, and meat circus is just so annoying to do, too. Ugh. When I was younger, my parents would spend hours playing Dr. Mario against each other. I remember one day I got so fed up with it that I hid the game in my room after I got married and moved out. I was looking through my old room and found the game again! My mom wasn't too thrilled about knowing what happened to her pill pusher game. Oh no. So that game was hidden for decades? Is that what you're saying? Oh my god. That's hilarious though. Years, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Dry Canyon's done. Peacekeeper's done. Where are we going next? Oh, I remember now. Um, the the only up upgrading HP thing. Um, yeah. I believe part of my problem was that I really didn't like fighting in an RPG game, so basically I didn't like the main core loop. Um, oh no, wrong story. Mixing stories. Um, I did the same thing in Thousand Year Door the first time I played it, so I fought the final boss with 50 HP and, what is it, 10 FP and 3 BP. Uh. <laughs> Which is, I didn't beat it, but I got there. Good lord. Yeah, BP is a requirement in Thousand Year Door. If you don't do something to up your damage in that game, you will... You'll do one damage a turn to the final boss. It's like, that's untenable. <laughs> God, that sounds so miserable. I'm not gonna lie, dude. <laughs> It. I got stuck in the ruins, um, the the final level behind the door. I literally got stuck because I had no FP and 50 HP and no items, and I was like, I need to get out so I can go get some items. And I couldn't. I literally was stuck because the enemies were too strong for me. For me to physically get out of the ruins. I think I finally managed to make it eventually, but just just so long. Again, that just sounds so miserable. Phase on farmer, the um the NPC that lets you transfer HP to FP and BP, I didn't know what they did. And I didn't know the point of BP because I never realized that badges were that useful.
How Switch, old were you when you played that? GameCube launched in 01, right? Yes. 01, GameCube launched. GameCube launched when I was 7. Okay, um, fair enough. I think Thousand Year Door was... 04? Yeah, okay. Um, and that was one of the games that I got pretty quickly, if I remember correctly. So that would have put me at... Sorry. Oh, one would have put me at five. To flame metal armor anyway. Thousand Year Door would have put me at eight. Flame won't work on metal, but charging with your horns so. that should do the trick. I was very young when I was playing these games. Man, am I glad when I got into RPGs I knew what they were. <laughs> I was too impatient and didn't actually read the text. I just wanted to play the game. Who needs reading anyway? Uh, what version of the game is this, John? Reignited Switch. Chugga and, Haya, Chugga and I have a number of very similar stories, yes. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That may be a different question. But it is the case no matter what. Damn it. I heard Chugga never got past the intro stage of Mega Man X. Is that true? Yes. Or I think he did, but it just took a long time. Uh, this happened during TRG. Like, like, this is not a kid story. This is, we already knew who Chugga was. We were already friends. Um, story that involves me, but is not my story. Um... I played Pokemon Coliseum. I had Coliseum for, for GameCube. I love that game. Um, I, I have wanted to return to that since it came out. And and Sword and Shield were very close, in my opinion. But I actually like also want the Grunge back. Nintendo and Grunge, as we've seen. Um, but I'm pretty sure I beat that game. I don't actually know the full ending, if I did or not. But I beat the game and got the Master Ball. I don't know if that's counting beating the game or not. Again, don't know for certain. Um, but I got the Master Ball. And, um, the, um, trying to remember how this went. I had to step out for a bit. And I was in the middle of doing the tournament in the tower that's like in the middle of that game that's under construction or just finished or whatever and my cousin was over and i was like hey you can play this for a bit why don't you glide there and find out uh real gam tower yeah or whatever it's called and i said um here, here's the master ball if a big blue pokemon comes up i want you to catch it oh no i was referring to kyogre <laughs> He caught, um, the, the one that looks like a UFO with legs. I'm trying to remember what that is. A UFO with legs? Metagross, yes. He used it on the Metagross. And I was, I believe he then went and saved after he beat the guy, too. Oh, he thought he wanted. Oh. Yep. <laughs> um, that was real fun. I was real annoyed, but that was real fun. Oh, it had the same catch rate. Oh, that's interesting to learn. 
That is huh. really interesting to learn. That explains why I never got it beforehand. Huh. Well, at least it wasn't a complete loss in, apparently. Kyogre isn't in Coliseum. I was very, very bad at video games. <laughs> this is GameCube era, which, uh, we came out, what, 7? 2007, 2008? Uh, we was 06. 06, okay. The Wii came out when I was 10. So I was between 5 and 10 when playing these games. <laughs> Also, yeah, I think... Damn it. Uh, yeah. They're on the- they're on the cover. Kyogre? The- the dogs and, uh, Groudon and Kyogre are on the cover, so... You just assumed they were in the game, though. That would make sense. I just assumed they were in the game! Point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. There was a whirlwind? No, oh, yeah, there is. Is it one of those there is now situations? <laughs> oh crap! Oh now I gotta go. I was along a kid. I put coins in my N64 thinking it would work. <laughs> oh no. I was a wee lad. <laughs> also, my dad super glued the N64 to the top of the TV. What? Yeah. Okay, why on that one? Because we would pull it off the fucking TV. <laughs> uh, I guess to ask a stupid question. Um, my, my introduction to video games was... Uh, was an N64 that was, I believe, at my grand grandfather's house. It was either that or uh, the the Game Boy Color that I played Super Mario Bros. on. One of those two. Doctor and Coliseum, Groudon and Kyogre are not. That explains why I never saw them. That they're in the boss. The boss is a mount battle. That would also explain them being in the game, but never seeing them. Now we're still missing a lot. I don't have too many meal tier game stories. I, I've told most of them at this point. Um. But I do have one last story, and that's the fact that uh, I managed to convince my mother, through the assistance of my father, to let me play uh, Twilight Princess when it came out. How'd you manage that? Uh, I mostly said, it's fine, it's not like there's blood in the game or anything. Uh-oh. The rating is fine. <laughs> and my father, after seeing the intro to the game, went, yeah, this is fine, I don't know why this got this rating, but... And, and realistically, like, it wasn't the worst option in the world. Um, it was through Twilight Princess that I learned what speedrunning was, though. How's that? It, I mean, I wanted to see someone beat the game, and I looked up how um, beating Twilight Princess fast or something like that, and that uh. got me to speedrunning. And then I actually, like, slowly expanded learning what Twilight Princess... or bleh, what speedrunning was. It was fun. Missing in the stage. The one chest I can never remember, like if it's a key one or not. So I think we used cannons to open last time. Oh, I just remembered another story related to raiding. Oh no. Um, I got. Uh, I got Chinatown Wars for the DS almost around when it came out. Which is great. Because, <laughs> again, 
I was still a young kid at this point. <laughs> I was running around selling drugs as like what, 12? <laughs> we weren't talking Jeez. about a game. The context for this would be hilarious. <laughs> Two thousand nine, so I would have been thirteen or fourteen at that point. Which is surprisingly old, actually. Hmm, fair enough. But yeah, I was I was running around selling drugs and it was funny. <laughs> Again! Context. <laughs> <laughs> um I, I told my mother that that it was kind of like stock that I was trading. Buying low and selling high. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you kept bringing that specifically up when we were playing GTA in the mod room. Now it makes yep. sense. Yep. Man, you got away with a lot. <laughs> My... I'm not sure if I should tell the story of breaking into someone's house. Um, oh! I'll leave that for later. <laughs> um, well, I mean, we're going to go but... do the raffle now if you want that to be like the transition. <laughs> But other than that, I was normally a very, very good child, and my parents let me left me to my own devices. 99% of the time, I was realistically angelic. Realistically. Alright, we're at 26% done on Spyro now. I will, I will tell the story uh, about me breaking into someone's house... Uh, All right, how far in are we at this point? 26%, so a quarter through the game, not a third. Okay, you're about stone peacekeepers, all right. Kirby doesn't have dragon daddies. For those who desire them, that is. I'm personally indifferent. I mean, there is a dragon in Kirby, a couple. Yeah, dude. Can they may not be right fathers, there. though. Okay there, TV Chops person. I mean, <clears throat> uh... He may have been your father, boy, but he ain't your daddy. Here's my, uh, here's my Spyro. Just like you remember him. Look at this cool ass dude. I never knew you, I never knew you could do this in this game. It's a I cheat mean, code, apparently. Play a Spyro. Oh, I see. The rainbow sunglasses are Switch exclusive. Oh, cool. Like, I recognize, I know, like, Spyro wears, you know, wears shades, but that's, like, not a boot up the game thing, you know? <laughs> okay, what the hell have we already done in this overworld? Do you have everything in the overworld, or...? Yeah, if it's Peacekeepers, uh, Peacekeepers is done 100%. Dry Canyon's done 100%. Cliff Town's done 100%. So, there's about six levels per each, like, hub world. Including like the racing levels, or I guess fight levels. Mm -hmm. So you're probably looking at like the boss area and one last like main area, which I think should be Ice Cavern. Is that this one? I don't yes. Know. It's been a while since I last played like OG Spyro. I actually just started playing Reignited on stream uh, the other day. Oh yeah, so you I'm... did, right. Yeah, so it's a little fresh right now. Good game. That's way to the next world. Yeah, like for some reason I never really like picked up like this version of Spyro. Even though I've had the option to. I just remember like playing like Spyro on the PS1 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I did play like a tiny bit of Spyro 2, but not all the way. I'm guessing Dr. Still... Shemp is the boss. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. I still associate Spyro 2 with the one time when I was streaming Spyro 2 and I accidentally pinged everyone in your server. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> There's Ice Cavern. What do you mean I can't add everyone on John's server for my own stream? <laughs> I do appreciate Discord being like, you whoa there, buddy! You mean to do this? Oh yeah, I know. That's, that's a nice new feature now. Yeah. It's only there, I think, if it's like if it's like above 50 people you'd be pinging. Mm-hmm.
3,000. It's right. Ice oh, Cavern. God. Oops. All right. It's okay. He brought fire. It killed me. So Ice Cavern. I would say this is like one of the first like really big worlds of Spiral One. Go is that a good thing? Because I remember no, some I... of these worlds being a little too big at times. I don't mind it personally. They're usually all like manageable. There's like some toughies here and there, but they're like near the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, Ulrich, the one's favorite character from Kolioko. Something, something, Stuart Copeland made the soundtrack. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, the Amanda show. <laughs> That's not until the next world. Well, I mean, are we going to get there? Uh, no. It depends. You, you can, can just say no, it's okay. I feel like John may stop at either like the boss stage or the flight stage. Depending on how long the stage takes. You know what, chat, raise your hand if you know what the Amanda show is. I'm curious about something. Oh no, my own going feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The, the Amanda show is not one of those shows under scrutiny right now, is it? I don't. Oh. <laughs> is it? Did you work I, on that show? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Yo, nice. Oh, there goes the nice. I mean, I feel like the only like issue might just be like, I mean, you know, Amanda Bynes has had some rough times afterwards, but Amanda Bynes had a rough transition to 3D. And in the ice cave, <laughs> clearly, make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Same guy? Okay. Oh, that's, I see. That's a bummer. Uh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah, that's that's back in public attention again now. Mm-hmm. Because of uh, someone's uh, memoirs was like, Hey, here's all the shit this person made me do. That was Jeanette McCurdy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jeanette Sir, McCurdy, who voiced... She was ruining things we love. Thank she you. She was the actress who played Sam in iCarly. Yeah, I remember hearing about that memoir. Yeah. Yep basically kind of forced into acting and just hated it and hated like a lot of the stuff about it. Yeah, I've heard the legit really good uh, memoir. I'll be the key, all right. Someone said run into the pole. There we go. How many things do I even need to find? Four hundred. Oh, Four hundred. Mm-hmm. Ugh. The first I mean, world was 400 gems. What would it be for numbers again? Like 300, 200 or so? Some of the first worlds were like 100, 200. Hmm. Yeah, for the most part, uh, was it, yeah, uh, 400, 400, 200. Yeah, it's not the first okay, okay. 400 at all these worlds here. 100, hmm. 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1. Funny flights of different beasts right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wonder how the flying stage is going to be in this world. I mean, it's only it's, the second one. It shouldn't be too bad, right? It's not, not too bad. How many worlds are there? Uh, there should be five worlds, last I recall. Yeah, like there's the next one, and then the next one, and then that one. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, I, then... Oh, actually, no, no. There should be four more because, like, there's one after this. I mean, it's like technically, I think. Technically, yes. Technically, four. It's speaking vague terms that John doesn't notice what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, I can just ignore you too if you'd much rather. <laughs> John, no, I need this. Don't ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> He's short on cash. He needs this opportunity. Cash? Yo, Andor, you got that Disney Plus sponsorship. Thank you for releasing me. Thank, thank you. Thank Very. you for saying thank you for releasing me. I thank you for it. releasing me. I was expecting a bit more than just the thank you, but I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's just because every other guy's been like, here's some advice about what to do in the game, Spyro. Don't worry, you'll get used to that line. <laughs> I think it's actually better in this version than the original, right? I think it is actually, yeah. I think they actually give you more tips in this one. So less like 
dudes going to for for me. me. As they sound. Mm-hmm. They also have way more designs. I mean, at least they say thank you. You know. They do. At least they're polite. Could just be like, sup, thanks. Just or like, leave. Or like, why'd you wake me up? Screw you. I was having a peaceful nap, and then you've disturbed it. Hello. Yeah, this is the room that I rem remember the most uh, in Ice Cavern, and nothing else, actually. Mm. Why this room in particular? I don't know. That guy's got snowshoes? Oh, they're just skis. Mm. Not even snowshoes. Oh, I mean, the room I remember is when you were just in, like, a second ago. That, that's my most, like, memorable room of the uh, Ice oh, Cavern. Oh, God. But... Yeah, I got you with his big, meaty claws. What'd you say? Frozen claws. So, the Tim Allen movie? Where he Fro kills Santa and becomes Santa? Frozen no, that's... Claws? I was gonna say, go... That's the third Santa <laughs> Claus movie, the one where he fights Martin Short as Jack Frost, or whatever the fuck. Something like that, yeah. Also, well done, oh, I'm God. actually hitting the- Oh god! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you have to learn, I am jinxable! <laughs> <sighs> the run is ruined, how could you? That's gonna be coming out of your paycheck. How far back <laughs> is this for me? Ah, uh, right, right, the, the dragons. Right, that's yeah, the wait, dragons are checkpoints. Oh yeah, yeah. See, John just pays me in cookie crisp usually, so it's like, it's not much, man. Oh, he doesn't pay you in money. Oh, okay. Cookie crisps are like money if you put them together in the shape of money. That is true. I, I, I mold them together. Can you exchange them for other goods and services? Yeah, uh, I can exchange them for right one larger store. crisp. Yeah. Which one? Uh, the cookie, the cookie crisp store? Uh, store. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, See what I can what's up. Are they like purely in Texas? Because I haven't seen one around here. Uh, they're in like both the southern part of Texas and the southern part of Canada. It's a dual southern states. <laughs> dual southern. <laughs> I mean, I did, we we did only study. work near borders, thank you very much, but only the southern part of the border. <laughs> yeah. No I mean, northern they, parts. They do say like Alberta is like the can the Texas of Canada. I was about, just about to say the Canada of Texas, but you know, the Canada of Texas is called, uh, I guess Washington maybe. I, I don't know. What is the Canada of Texas? Hmm, I never thought about that. The Canada of Texas. Wouldn't that be Austin? Maybe or Oklahoma if you're going by geography, but that's not. Oh, actually, I guess it would be above us, huh? But then. Oh yeah, you sometimes forget that Oklahoma's north of us, right? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> there's there's a lot of things I forget about, like New York apparently. There is a town in Texas called Canadian. Ah, oh. there we go. So I guess that answers that. All right, that's the second location at the Cookie Crisp for store. I'm old. That's my thing. I'm an old dragon man. Don't mind me. If Gotta go do old nothing. dragon things like breathe fire very lightly. Also, someone asked earlier why Spyro runs on all fours. It's because he's not grown up yet. He's still a kid. Yeah. So, okay, so imagine the game with adult Spyro. Like, co college student Spyro. I He's mean, there people college. have done that. There's, there's like, adult Spyro fan art. Okay, but imagine, like, an official game of adult Spyro, okay? <laughs> um, it'd be like, Spyro goes to college, the game. Spyro pays tuition, the game. Spyro tries to join a frat. The game. Spyro gets involved with the with the, the gangs and the drugs. The game. Oh, that's quite unfortunate. Yeah, sorry, Spyro. Yeah, we're sorry, Spyro. It's just that picture of like uh, Ralsei uh, smoking the blunts, but it's just now Spyro smoking the blunt. <laughs> oh my god! Somehow that comes up twice tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You know, to be fair, like, of all people or characters, I guess Spyro would make sense. You can self light it, you know? You could. I'm my own lighter. 
Line him up, Spyro. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Spyro with a bong. He just like lights it himself. I so like I think the point is like I would hope that by that point Adult Spyro would be, would be like bipedal because like it'd be hard for him to like carry the bong around on all fours, you know? Nah, you, you just get like a like a necklace for it. A bong necklace. How, yeah. how tiny is this bong? Bongless. John? Bongless. Okay. Bongless. It's just a pipe at that point, really. Longless sounds like a Lord of the Rings character, dude. Or you get like you get a strap and put it on your back, so you just got a back bong. Oh <laughs> no, shockwave! No. So was a back bong kind of like uh, the beer hats? <laughs> yeah, it's like a beer hat string. equivalent for bongs. <laughs> so I was, I guess, to say earlier, like my thought. Nice job on the polls, by the way. As there are a lot of people who actually just don't realize you can hit the poles. Well, I wasn't sure, but with there being so many of them around, I figured mm -hmm. something was up. And then obviously someone in the chat was like, you can just ram into those. I'm like, okay. Oh, they told you, dang. Yeah, they told me. They didn't want me to figure it out on my own. But this is Cookie. I don't usually enforce that kind of rule. It ain't game clearing. Hmm. What if it was? I mean, to be fair, you've only got two moves, so it had to be one of the two, and I didn't try one of them, so <laughs> let's be real here. Would have eventually figured it out on my own anyways. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? I'm not gonna tell you. That is very important for me to know. It is crucial to save the, the kingdom. You'll figure it out. Spyro doesn't figure it out. <laughs> I like to imagine Spyro just hanging out with the Always Sunny cast. Just like Spyro and Danny DeVito hanging out. Yeah, smoking a bong. <laughs> You're the I mean, only human I'll let ride me, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Kid, you gotta work on that phrase, and I'm telling you, you gotta stop it. <laughs> I haven't watched the show too much, but I know like there's a, like the whole like, can I give you an egg in this, these trying times? And you know, eggs are collectible in this game, so you know. Oh, yes, Danny DeVito as the Spyro thief. And Spyro makes a friend with him, <laughs> and he's like, I can offer you this egg in this trying time. So like one of those those like dragon egg thieves, you mean, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Key, but I don't think I can get there. From so those, like Danny DeVito like breaks from the faction of egg you know egg thieves to be friends with, with Spyro, you know, mutiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, egg mutiny. Is it what is it truly an egg mutiny? Is that like when the chickens just stop like laying them? Ooh, that's a power move. I guess that would, would also be just be chicken run. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think about that, but you're right. I have not watched that movie in so many years, man. I've only seen that once, and I think we rented it way back then, but it was a fun movie. Mm hmm. Where the fuck is that way? Okay, here we go. Wait, Intimidator. Chicken Run is getting a sequel? Why? I thought I already had one. I mean, I, I guess it just it wouldn't surprise me if it is or already has. Slip my radar if it. it probably is has like a. Has. Yeah, like a straight to video one. Probably. I can see that. Do you think it's still stop mo or claymation? At this point, it's probably fake claymation CG. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. <coughs> you alright? You okay yeah, there? Just choking a bit. Uh, of course. It's alright, it happens all the time. Of course, yes. It's just the, the pro gamer move right there is choking. Yeah. Who needs to wow. breathe anymore? <laughs> all my lungs, uh, all my lungs intake is just artificial. In this conversation where we, we were talking like, about like Spyro smoking weed, you know. <laughs> exactly. You don't need to smoke and you don't need to breathe anymore if you're just filling it up with like smoke. Spyro hotboxes the dragon realms. <laughs> <laughs> like Spyro hotbox himself at this rate. 
Here we Shit. endorse not breathing. You heard it from us, folks. We sure as hell endorse weed. <laughs> Shin Run 2 comes out next year, apparently. Oh. Dawn of the Nugget on Netflix. That makes sense. Dawn oh, of, of the Netflix. Nugget? Well, the Netflix part. The title is all like... Let me think about that for a sec here. That's quite the name. Well, I know where the, the missing five is. How the fuck do I get there, though? Okay, apparently it is not five. I'm missing none. Nope, you got them all. Nice, Wait, you got so them what all. the fuck was that treasure chest I saw I couldn't reach? You got the treasure already. Wasn't that the one with the key just now? No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, it no. was. Was it that one? Yeah, it was that one. Hang on. We'll get back over there. I saw an, ext an extra, extra life one, though. Extra life one? Yeah, hang on. Let me get over there. Like the weird clamshell was one that was there. Ah, that is not a small number. That is a big number. <laughs> Thank I you, strong bad. When did we add this one? <laughs> uh, that one was scary. made a long time ago, but it got added like half a year ago when my ADHD actually let me remember to put shit in. Yeah, there's like two one-ups right. There's three one-ups right there. How the fuck do I get to that? No, put the gun down to cheat. Man. The cheat, no! Ariel in kills Strong Bad with kindness and bullets, saying, Going to keep up with the yearly tradition of renting luck from you on my birthday. I might be three days late, but uh, better late than never. Don't worry, I'm always late for things, so it works out. Happy belated birthday, Ariel in. Happy belated, and don't worry, Happy everything belated. is fine, nothing is ruined. Hope it was a good one. How the fuck do I get to these three one ups? I'll admit, I don't really remember. I never really go for those. Probably like a big light from above, it, but I don't know where you would ride from. the same spot? You might have to like turn a corner in a weird way, like how you did in the uh, one of the previous levels. I kind of mm. want to know before we move on. Fair. It's like it is like it is like one of the fun things about like Spyro, where there's oh, some the interesting level designs, where they have the yeah, freedom it's like to way over big there. Places. Yeah, but I think mm. I see how to get to it. Where is it? Because the only glide point I remember is like over there, over there. You would need somewhere high enough. The highest places I can think of is at the beginning of the stage. Yeah, that's what or it looks like. It would have to be there, because I don't think there's enough distance from where you got the treasure. It must be beginning of the stage. Yeah, someone else is saying start a level. Make the most sense, yeah. Is that the really... highest point, right? I think so, yeah. I never really bothered doing it myself, but like it makes the most sense for it. There's always, there are always lives I just didn't bother with, because I felt like the game hands lives to you like it's Halloween candy, so I just didn't yeah. really bother. But, oh, I see a secret, I want to get a secret, so. Mm -hmm. No, I feel that. So it's probably from where I had to actually get those gems I missed, if I had to guess. That seems like the highest point. Yeah, so it's probably from here, because it even looks like it's as a marker. But this holy shit, yeah. where is that spot from here? I can't even see it. Oh, yes, I can. That Gotta turn the corner a bit. Huh. Right there. There oh, you go. There we go. Nice. Hey, nicely done. Pro Neat. gamer. Not even for a skill points, wow. Only and one percent of gamers greedy. do this. And then I got greedy. <laughs> I got greedy. Only 100% of gamers Thought it was this. a lot closer than it was, but this ironically may have worked out faster. Speed strats, it's fine. Speed strats, baby. Even though you would have been faster if you didn't die. I Speed thought it would have loaded strats. faster, my bad. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. One a percent. Let's go to AGTQ now. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, God. So, I will say real quick, when you're done with a level like this, you are actually allowed to just simply go into the pause menu and just hit exit level if you, if you so oh, choose. Of I course. thought I had to like do that at least once, though. No, the only time you have to really do that is in the first world in my experience, because the first world has this like gate that only opens if you actually hit a return home gate. If you just exit out of the levels, it doesn't count for some weird reason. Only Here. once for the first boss, apparently? Yes, for uh, the t Toasty, for Toasty. I forgot his name was Toasty. He does not look like a Toasty at all. It's because he's like a sheep on like little like walking sticks. Oh, he was a sheep, right. Yep. I thought he was like a, 
I thought he was so like I'm, a scarecrow or something. I'm still missing He's the place around you then, huh? Yeah, you're missing, I would assume, the flight level and the boss level. Yeah, well, there's Champ right there, so that's the boss level. For some reason, I thought I'd already done the flight level around here. Check your guidebook for me, please. No, based on it, because I found dragon statues in all of them, so it's impossible. I've already killed you, it looks like. There's no egg in his hands, so... Oh, damn it. Not interested oh. anymore. All right, spiral liquids. Yeah, he hates he it. He does not. Granted, this was like poison. Well, based on the word flight being there. Night flight. Also, yeah, when you kill an enemy that you have already gotten the gem from, they also give you like a little, a little pearl. And like every 20 yeah. pearls, you get a one up. Mm-hmm. 20 or so. Oh, I don't know why I wanted to do a flight stage, but here we are. <laughs> Earn your first spiral level was a flight stage. Good times. Yeah. All right. 300 gems. Yep. Oh, and the objective is just the rings. Or at least that's just the starting one, I assume. That's right, so just the starting one. So for those who don't know how flight levels work, you have you get 80 gems give or take, uh, for getting every row of each thing. Oh! What'd you do? I you hit charge. Oh, yep. right. Which I thought would make me go faster, instead it made me stop flying. Uh, so HS, eight works. arches, eight rings, eight lights. Mm-hmm. And there is also a all-at-once bonus as well for the true completion. I suppose you can let's say like get any set of collectibles you want, but it's more ideal to like get them all in one go. Yes, because that's how you like complete the level. Yeah. <laughs> the idea behind these levels is you want to go in like any order you so choose. Later games actually just straight up give you an order, which is a little weird. I mean, I can see there being like an optimized like route for. Oh, you know, come these. Okay, oh, we're fine. Uh, we're fine. Uh, we're, fine. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. You good? You good? You good? You good? You good? You good? You good. You good. Oh, pull up, nice. No, you, there's not really a die button per se. You can recover. If anything, I actually have found going for the charge to be quite useful in some scenarios. Oh, fuck off. Ah, uh, yes. Spyro's weird. Sort of like... When Spyro falls, it's a little hard for him to kind of pull back up. I've noticed. Yeah, it definitely took a bit before he actually started going back up. Flight levels definitely have a bit of a physics change in the Reignited trilogy. Because they... They feel almost more, like, weighted, I might say, mm. compared to the original game, where it feels a little bit more, like, loose. Some would argue the flight stages are actually harder in Reignited because of that. Great. But well, of like, I remember in Sparrow 1, some of the flight levels were pretty memorable, so hooray. Mm. Come what? on! Aww. Oh. Oh. I do love when Spyro hits the water, though he hits it with his hand. <laughs> well, because he's pissed. He's like, God damn it. I guess I can't get up and keep flying. Aw, jeez. I don't think it would, but I'm thinking about your big head right now. I'm thinking that shouldn't affect your hitbox or anything, right? Don't no, remember. No, it shouldn't. Nice, nice. Okay, this camera angle sucks. Okay, neat. Where's the last thing I need? I think it's the lighthouses, right? It is the lighthouses. Oh, shit. Well, I realized that too late. It's fine, it's fine. Now I was out of time anyways. Fair. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Keep that in mind, well, you then. A, you have a set order now, for sure. Yeah. 
the nice thing about some flight stages is that they do kind of go in sort of an order for you. But, as you see there, you can deviate from the order too. You can also mix and match if you want. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are not impossible, no. These are completely doable. They're just tricky. They just require, like, a few iterations at a time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, you know, that camera angle, not the most helpful right now. Mm. Is there any way to I move it out at all? Not really, but I can offer one piece of advice, actually. What's that? If you press X while Spyro's flying, he actually will go... What's that, X? X on a... PlayStation controller, sorry. Thanks, oh. Maniacal! <laughs> Might have wanted to specify that! <sighs> sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of this, all three controllers have X buttons in different spots! You know what, Maniacal? I'll say this. Maybe it's not their fault. Maybe it's the system's fault. The system of gaming industries, you know, with their dumb face buttons on the different positions. <laughs> you uh, press the bottom button. <laughs> roll flap his wings. There we go. Now you said the correct B word. What does that do? Make Spyro flap his wings. It can kind of like help him rise a little bit easier in some cases. Yeah. That's what I found personally. Uh, yeah, that seems a bit more helpful. <laughs> Alright, you know what, Arcade Park? That's a fair point. I take it back. Minaiko, you should have known. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'll admit as well, I was also just playing this on like. PlayStation recently, so that's once again. I, I, I kind of always do a spiral with PlayStation, so you know, <laughs> it's kind of on me as well. Ooh, ooh, nice. No! So close. I was like, we're cruising to victory here, but... Looking at the comments in the chat, I guess like, I guess these, these levels like were designed for like these specific configurations with like little wiggle room, I guess. Mm hmm. It's doable in the end, but the margin of error is not as generous as it should. No, oh, wait. Got and it. And you're good. Nice. Nice. Nicely done. Yeah, so I think what happened last time was a, f a few bumps really messed you up in the end, which mm -hmm. sucks. Either way, you're good. There we go. Did it all. We're a Would you like to try again? No, nope, I'm good. <laughs> Treasure found. I forget. Are the bosses actual stages too? Like, do I have to they find are, gems yeah. and everything? They are, oh. they are stages, but they're kind of on the shorter side. I'm saying because we're basically close to time, but. How much time do you have left? If we're going for half an hour exclusively, 40 seconds. Oh. Uh, th this next level could probably take you, like, 10 minutes, maybe, mm -hmm. give or take. Chat, what do you want to do? So, Shempa's not too bad, but it's a little bit, like, on the platforming aspect. Interesting. Yeah, most people want cookie. Yeah, I could just save Shemp for next time. It's not too bad a fight, honestly. Okay. Most people saying cookie. Alright. That's saved automatically, right? Uh, should have, yes. yeah. Yes, 32%. Okay, now we're nice. third done the game.
Nice. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the cookie then. No 1% rule, so it's fresh choices. Oh yeah, we're right at a boss fight, aren't we? As chat's saying. I think so. Oh, and just because I had like 10 people ask me the same thing while you were going through art block. Complete a game if you're enjoying it, guys. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying Dude. I'm saying don't achievement hunt just to see the bar go up. If you're stuck on a but game, but number like, oh, go up, Ryan. Thing. Number go that's, up. Give it up. If that's your motivation, give it up. Move yes, on. Yes, give it up. <laughs> See, you're agreeing with us. Give it up. Thirty-two percent of the game done. Cow All right. Other than the boss, what do we have left to do in this area? Come on, Rosa Cow. No Rosa Cow. Wow, this is this is not loading fast today. So you got games on your phone? <laughs> All right. So far in this area, we've done Peacekeepers, Dry Canyon, Cliff Town, Ice Cavern, and Night Flight. All done 100. percent I feel like I've beaten the first Spyro. Even at a friend's house. I think I... Because I, I remember running around like this. It's not a very long game, right? It might have been something no, like... No, it's pretty sleepover. short. Like six, eight, six to eight hours, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that seems that seems like a good sleepover activity. It, I just... Are you supposed to be purple with DK mode on? Yep. <laughs> okay. That's definitely mm -hmm. normal. <laughs> this Spyro Reignited Trilogy with new funky mode. Confronting Dr. Shemp! Oh yeah, we have a bunch of cheat codes turned on. That's why we have the sunglasses. That's why we're, we're pink and why we have big head. Yeah, new funky mode. All right, one dragon, 300 gems. I wonder if they make a new, uh, another Donkey Kong Country game, if Funky will just be playable in general. Not like the special superpower mode. I don't know, he seems pretty powerful. They might just keep him as being like the powerful being. I like Funky when he exists as a support character. Like, then they get to actually do stuff with him. I like when they actually use Funky. I assume I do not need to kill those for extra gems. That they're just here to fuck with me. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I liked, I liked um, Donkey Kong Returns and Tropical Freeze. They were good, but I don't know. Like I, the SNES ones are still better to me. I liked like text. I liked a little bit of world building and characters talking to each other. I mean, there is a little bit of that in. Tropical Freeze, not much, mind you, but there is some. Where? Oh, where am I going? Oh, I'm going up here. Never mind. With Funky and with the uh, figures. Actually, maybe not the figures. I don't I remember, remember that. I don't, I don't think the figures had dialogue, no. Okay. No, Funky can definitely God tell you it. about the areas. Mm, well, I'm okay. up here now. I may... Uh, now, I've only played Tropical Freeze once, and I was Fuck! doing it as a race, so I probably didn't pay any attention to that. That's fair. But I know overall, there was a lot less, like, speaking. All right. I don't want to say less personality, but, like, the intro cutscene was done without any words, right? And that's okay from time yeah. to time, but it, it felt a little lacking compared to the Super Nintendo games. I know that uh, the I know that the uh, Switch one uh, they included a banana slamma joke. Nice. I knew Donkey Kong Country, but you only have Donkey and Diddy. But the other Kongs function as the animal companions. That could be good. <laughs> there we hmm. go. I don't know. I I uh, oh God, I got snap. ukulele in the Impossible Layer too because I heard that that was a really solid like return to form for that type of game. 
and I just stopped playing it. I got bored. That's fair enough. If you didn't like the the way they did the gimmick, then that, that's fair. But like, I think it's pretty decent. Like, I like the way they do things in that. Yeah, no, uh, it, it seems we're very solidly designed. I'm, I'm absolutely not saying it's poorly put together, considering how many people said great things about it. Just it didn't land with me, which was surprising because I love that type of game. I. It just keeps getting pushed back for me. I haven't played too much of it. I think also, I got it free on uh, Epic. Like, there was a giveaway one weekend, and I'm like, sure, I'll try that. And Wait, what did I do? Did I... Apparently I did something that you're not supposed to be able to do normally, because a bunch of people are saying I can skip the boss now? What? Someone said, wow, John didn't even need to do that. He can skip the boss now. John is making me learn a few new things about this level I didn't know. What? Wasn't even trying. <laughs> Did you do something weird? Everything I jumped from fine. this from this spot to over there, and apparently I wasn't supposed to be able to do that. No, I wasn't. I don't think it was the damage boost they were referring to. It was the fact that I got up there by flying from that that ledge. Doctor Shep, this is so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Is that a hint for fighting the boss? More than likely. That seemed like okay. a bit too much stress <clears throat> on back. Back! <laughs> yeah. You can't get the key normally without killing the boss. Oh. Right. But I can't leave here still, though, so... So I, that still doesn't really fulfill any other purpose other than having... I still have to fight the boss to make the bridge open. Impossible Lair was good, but the last level earned its name. Yeah, I, I, that, that was a really interesting gimmick. I like that they give that to you immediately, and you're like, die. That man's not wearing <laughs> any pants, my god. Oh, I also need, I need it for gems, so yeah, I actually, since I'm 100%ing, I actually do need to kill him. Pretty sure there is an achievement for beating the impossible lair without uh, losing a single B. Yeah, like if you <laughs> prove you can do this without having to play the game, it's kind of nice. I think it is like made so that you can technically do it whenever. I don't think they make you reset the game every single time to do that very first run of the impossible lair. Mm, good, good, good. Yeah, because if you can do it without getting hit, then that's proof that you could do it from the start. But I don't know, it's been a while since I looked that's, at the achievement list. So that's that's a very friendly way of crafting that achievement. Not originally? Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but also, I was just thinking of this. At or least that's at the beginning, right? If you want yeah. to attempt that, it's not like you have to play 10 hours to attempt it. You just yeah, make a not. save file. Yeah. Shit, that was close enough. I see you. Ah, there was a patch, and Gerard did it before that patch came out. Oh. Of course he did. Mm. Okay. Shit. There we go. Dev said it was theoretically possible, but never saw it done out the gate. Yeah. Devs will put in achievements that they can't do, but they know can be done because they know players will always be better testers than they are. Pa players can be very stubborn and very patient when they want to be. Way more than someone mm -hmm. who's being paid to do it. Mm-hmm. And a, for a dev, they're being paid to do it. Their time is limited. They could keep trying this thing for three weeks, or they could fix other problems. Yeah, they could make the game. All right, that is all that. Oh, God! We did it, yay. Like you, John, speaking from experience. Look, I would love to get paid the rate uh, that a QA tester should pay get paid for doing just all this random shit we do on streams, but I know that's A, not how that works, and B, QA gets paid like shit, which is why so many things have so many bugs that are so easy to find by people like me. 
QA gets paid like shit, a lot of QA gets treated like shit, and a yep. lot of um, projects are not managed well enough to fix everything QA finds anyways. Yep. Mm hmm 90% of the time, when somebody's just like, how did they not find this bug? They did. They did. <laughs> yeah. They did. They didn't fix it. They There's a lot work. of triage that goes on in uh, the months leading up to shipping a game. Very rarely do, like, players find bugs that QA didn't have listed. It does happen, but it's very rarely. All right. So is that everything in this area? Six zones? Last area had six zones, so I assume so. We of good to move on? More. I guess. Somebody, yeah. somebody says, I find it amazing how low QA gets paid considering they're making sure the game works. Um, yes, I and I'm not justifying this mentality, but part of the mentality is QA does not have a dedicated skill set. You don't need training to do it like artists and programmers and that kind of stuff do. It's still a skill set. <laughs> it's still important. Mm -hmm. Are we good to move on? Just double checking for those who know. Since the game doesn't seem to tell you otherwise. Move on. Okay. It's a rough situation. It's a QA's job to always talk about issues the game might have, and not everyone working on the game wants to hear that. that was, yeah, that was, I, I had a job for three months here. Not as a QA, but as a tech artist, because they needed a tech artist. And they hired me and told me, we want to hear what we're doing wrong and how we can improve so that we can make this production work. And I did that. And um, we got in a shouting match on day two. The, what the, what the, the guy who interviewed me wanted was... Uh, apparently different from what everybody else on the team thought they were going to get. Which was affirmation, and I don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Game's pretty quiet. Yep, I'll fix that in a minute. Sorry, I cranked it down after the last game was really loud. That's fair. Oops. Oh, I can go to any spot. Okay. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, going back to, like, QA, there's also how, uh, a bit, this is definitely more common with, like, more indie devs recently, but, uh, some of the devs are, some devs are getting a little bit more okay with random bugs, because they're just like, okay, is this a bug that ruins the game, makes the game unplayable, or is it something that, like, a speedrunner could have fun with at some point? Excuse me. Damn, arguing on the second day. I, I don't, I, I... Ryan likes to fight, period. That should shock mm -hmm. no one that's a regular around here. I but do, I get very to... stubborn at work. <laughs> you were told to tell them what's wrong. You mm -hmm. did that. How I fully admit I was exactly a little more. Said you were gonna... Oh yeah, no, 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 Ryan, you can't catch it. I fully admit I was probably a bit harsher than I should have been. No, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get him? Oh, there's a like a mirror or something. Hey, I was already breathing. Oh, you're wearing metal. That's why. Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Can do, Cam Clark. We are pretty good with eggs. I am told I am a egg professional. In some sense of the word. Both an egg professional and a professional egg. Two in one. Oh, boy. Like, okay, so I thought I saw a mirror up there, but that might have just been the backdrop. So am I just supposed to just catch him, basically? 
This one seems like I had I, to like lure him out and then like catch him in time. I think these ones were all just catch them. Well, no, they're all catch, catch them, ball. but I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, to get up to the top there. Mm. Nope, I guess I answer my question. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. So you're an executive AP in Salmon Run yet, John? No, I haven't booted up the game since the last time I played it on stream. Because I was just like, done. I don't want more hats. I'm gonna wait for the next salmon run to happen, and then it happened. I was like, "Yeah, I'm not playing games in my spare time at the moment." I haven't done a single salmon run yet. It's fun. The new salmon run's pretty good, but it is difficult. The difficulty of of new salmon run is definitely way higher than what the previous one was. I think it'll be fun then. Was the previous one really, really easy to beat? Mm, no, there was definitely some times you would get your ass handed to you in it. But they, <laughs> let, the, basically, let's say, like, the top difficulty of regular Salmon Run is, like, halfway up the difficulty ladder of the new Salmon Run. Mmm, okay. So they really make you work for it to get up there. The hats yeah. last all month. Ugh, God damn it, I'm so fucking sick of that. What did I get to on stream last time? Was it Professional Plus, or am I still in Professional? I forget. Can I get him to Splatoon 3 as a newbie? Yes, absolutely. You absolutely can. Because anyone who played the game prior, um, they had the option to get grouped into uh, groups with other players who had played the game prior. So you will have probably an easier time getting into this game because all the newbies will actually be paired up with other newbies. That's nice. Yeah, it was like uh, your lowest rank in Splatoon 2 becomes, like, your rank in, uh, Splatoon 3. So, like, me, who had S in everything aside from, uh, Clan Blitz, and B-plus in Clan Blitz got B-plus. Is there a thing to this guy? Because chasing him in a circle doesn't seem to be working. He has an egg. You gotta cut corners, but Spyro's not turning sharp enough for me to pull this off, except for in certain spots. Oh shit, and then he'll turn around on a dime. Yeah. There we go. No, anything above B minus just gets to B minus in Splatoon 3. Oh, okay. I played Splatoon 1. It was fun. I don't have enough time for multiplayer to justify the rest. Unfortunately. I beat two bosses in story mode. That's what I've been doing in Splatoon 3. I, nice. I enjoy I, it. I have yet to start story mode yet. Probably gonna do it while I'm on, on vacay. I might not though, because I usually hate the shorter sticks on the on the uh, Joy Cons. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do touch or motion controls with the, uh, with the pad with it in my hands. So we'll see. That's how I mostly play Splatoon. Is just like with the pad. I, I always preferred playing it with a with the pro controller, honestly. I think I just liked how it felt in when playing one, so I just do that did that with two and three. I do have those hoary like pro uh, pro cons or whatever they're called, the split pad pro. That's Ooh. what I should be using for it. It's just I think I broke the stick on one of them, unfortunately, so I haven't been I haven't tried to use it since. And Splatoon is one of those games I prefer playing on a TV, anyways. Mm. That's fair. I need some new Joy Cons at this point. I have the ones that originally came with it, and those ones are literally falling apart. And my second set has some pretty heavy drift on the right stick. Supercharge, excellent. Go ahead, try it. Pick a card, every card. Hmm, those might have been pre-rendered. Because Spyro was not pink with shades. Yeah, I think that is the case. I remember uh, Juker had his custom Spyro game where uh, he was Scooby Doo, and there were multiple this times that we got Spyro instead of Scooby. Place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. Dragons found. In which case, it's pretty impressive that they have it just seamlessly start and stop from a gameplay like that. 
Mm hmm. That's probably why it takes so long to load at the start, because they're doing all that. Mm, maybe, maybe. That would make sense. Oh, that must be the. Yeah, it's a lock chest. Is it? Oh, I can never remember. That one had like a weird gimmick to it. How many more gems do I need? 300. We've got all the eggs, we've got all the dragons. That's a supercharged chest? Yeah, that's what I figured. Super charge. Mega charge. Shit. Well, at least I still had one of those. Hmm? Uh, well, we'll go back and do that in a minute. Please stop moving away my gems. I need them. Asshole. <laughs> I need them for reasons I forget why the what the gems are supposed to do. I need them for plot. Yes, I need them for plot reasons. I need them because a wizard told me to. Really? Because I've been kicking the shit out of a lot of wizards. A different wizard. Oh, yeah. different wizards. Okay, much better. You hmm. are a dragon. I mean, that's honestly probably the actual reason. This is our horde. We're a young dragon, so we don't have a horde yet. Spyro can't turn for shit when he's in that mode. I assume this is what I need to do to get to that chest, but, uh... Oh my god, the turning is so weird! Second. So, if you just charge for a super long time, do you charge faster? Is that what? Well, you no. Need? This, if specifically if I'm on these arrows, I get like a bigger. Oh my god! I see. Okay. Yeah. Can okay. they give you if super I can charge, jump with this, it might be here. easier. Let's see if I can do that with jumping. Jumping itself might make this easier to do. I just wasn't sure if I lose the hyper charge if I did that. The answer is sort of. Super charge. Mega charge. Mafia ball. Oh, for fuck's sake. I hit the ceiling. <laughs> Tomorrow, Spyro will be streaming You Suck at Turning, I guess. Uh... Supercharge is janky when you haven't used it for a while. Have I used it up to this point? I legit don't remember. No, if I remember correctly, someone says you might have done it once. This world is the one that introduces it. God. I, like, there's no other spot I'm supposed to do it at, right? I have to do this weird-ass turn? Or a better turn. Is there some move I'm just not aware of for doing this turn, or is it really just get the right angle for this fucking garbage jump? This is tricky for the first time having to use it. It's just angling. Uh. There it is. That sucks ass! You got it, though, right? Well done. I got it, but it still sucks ass. Um, okay, so now we, need to, now we need to figure out where our, uh, our locked chest is. 
Welcome back. Because that's the only thing we're missing at this point, is 10 gems and a locked chest somewhere, which I assume has the 10 gems. <laughs> Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Hop aboard for the beach. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have to do any worlds here. I can just leave. <laughs> I can just nope out of here. Bye. <laughs> Fuck all the dragons in this world. Burr, 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 burr. Well, we already saved all the dragons, didn't we? Well, in the rest of the worlds. This is the hub. Oh. Not that fuck, Cole, my god. Cole goes, John, no, TOS. We... Where's the chest I'm missing? You fell for my trap by responding. Ah, the trap of calling you a horny bastard. Yes. Mm. He just wants attention. I can, it I works. can see, I can see how that was a masterful trap, and definitely doesn't reflect poorly on you at all. You've activated my trap card. Making fun of you! Ha ha! You I activated you my what? trap card. Trolley <laughs> problem. <laughs> it took me a second to realize why you said that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. I was closeted for 10 years. Call me a horny bastard. I can't help it. All right, fair enough. Yep. Don't kink shame around here. You like what you like. All right, where the fuck is this? Uh, I'm glad everybody's quoting the Alucard thing now. <laughs> You activated my Alucard. Okay, you're pointing through a solid wall, so that's not helpful. Mm. You're pointing into a solid wall, which means there's got to be a cave somewhere I can glide into. Yep, there it is. Warrior of Fire, that's why I made the joke. Because they made the trolley card, uh, pr card recently. And some one-ups. Oh, this All doesn't right. make any sense. And now we have one minute left of the segment, so... <laughs> I guess we'll start a stage. You can get to that lockbox and break it with a supercharge. Oh, cool. Hmm. Yeah, the, uh, they made a card that was like, I think the effect is select one monster on your opponent's field. They can choose between either getting rid of all of their other monsters or the one or the uh, one that you selected. <laughs> this game taught me that the most evil numbers in the universe are 98. You know what? I accept that. All right, five, oh, maybe we picked a bad stage to go to based on all that, 500 mm. gems. Four dragons and one egg. There we go, we missed these. Have I missed anything over there? I don't think so. At least they're giving me a lot of 10, so this is going a little faster. Okay, we'll take that.
Man, their their death cries sound very robotic. Ow, 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 ow. Oh no, I have been injured. Oh no, I've been found out. Beep boo. Wesley. Oh, Spyro, you're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. Oh, good. I didn't think so. How? That's a hard trick with the bomb. With, with what? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? I don't know. I'm. I've never felt so lost as I have during this whole Spyro segment. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Uh, I'm just like, all right, you're collecting gems. Free couple dragons. I think I, think I did sense. a trick that apparently is supposed to be hard to do without realizing it or something. Again? Apparently. Someone seemed surprised. Video games. Video games are happening. Oh my god, he really is Tuxedo Mask. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's a lot of wizards over there. Robotic cries are how they sounded in the original? Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Time to kill some wizards. We did it. We killed a wizard. Hooray! Nobody likes wizards anyways, right? Always yeah. causing problems. You have magic, why can't you just fix everything? With rules to magic? Pfft. They sure can muck everything up, but they never know how to fix it. Hmm. Exactly. The joys of magic. Me. Would you want the big holy hand grenade, or do you want the small hot water balloon hand grenade? <laughs> do not throw hot water balloons. That is not a good idea. Why do you have corks in his nose? Why not? He didn't want to smell anything dragon. anymore. Or breathe fire. <laughs> He's very clearly an alchemist and he doesn't want to breathe in all the lead. I mean, that also probably is a smart thing to not do. Sander! Great work, Spyro! If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic craft as well. You sound like you're speaking from experience. From of being an alchemist or something else? Probably the alchemist spot. I mean, that explains all the alts, right? It's just alchemy. Hmm. I don't think a hot water balloon should be possible with the elastic break. It's definitely going to make something different happen. So wait, so probably weakens all the, rubber, the yeah. alts. Are, if all the alts are alchemy then what's the equivalent exchange for them getting the massive Bahonga Gudgadonkaroos? My sanity. Okay. That's fair. That tracks. Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't God worry, damn it, brain! Ugh! My mind immediately went, what if they found the Philosopher's Bra? <laughs> You called me the horny bastard. Look, my brain's the one that did it. I, that's why I immediately scolded myself for it. Guess what, John? You are your own brain. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think you I have shown the a... fact that I am on ADHD medication normally that, uh, <laughs> no. It very much is a problem on a regular basis. Myself and my brain are fighting constantly. We are all brains piloting the exoskeleton.
Spyro really does not like turning while running. Holy shit. Or a normal skeleton. <laughs> now you can't just pilot the skeleton. You have to pilot the meat. And that's the exoskeleton. Just made oh, out wait. of meat. Hold, wait, no, hold up. <laughs> Don't think Something's about it. Falling Still apart here. Think. Just don't think about it. Don't delete There we bones. go. I've been trying to delete bones for the past two hours. It's not working. <laughs> the full silicone alchemist about two sisters looking for the philosopher's bra. God damn it. Nice infotomes. All right, what have I not done? I'm missing like 159 gems. Fireworks. I'm dead. I guess I should have seen that coming. Quick question, are you here in the motorcycles outside right now? Nope. Okay. Cause I sure am, it is 2 a.m. Uh, I hopefully don't need to... Good, okay, good. How am I going to break these without getting my ass handed to me? Not like that! I don't know why. Why are you like this? How do I do this? Was I just too close earlier? Kimikawa, if I'm recalling correctly, it has been a while since I've had I to know this for close. anatomy classes. It's not that we delete bones, it's that the bones fuse together. I like the phrasing of delete bones, though. I too wish to delete my bones. <laughs> I've just been hearing, like, pouring almost typhoon rain all day. Wouldn't that just make you jelly? Yeah, sometimes. I am absolutely jelly of people with no bones. Fine, I'll do the so way flexible. they intended. Wasn't the way to go. Okay. Can I get a uh, boneless friend? He yeah, asked nicely. I'll hook you up. <laughs> Condition that slowly tones your muscles to bone when injured. I think I remember hearing about this. I had to take a lot of weird biology classes. I remember a lot of things, but not as much as I care to. Can I get a... I just saw... I thought it said boneless pizza, because I thought they were saying the boneless pizza, but then I said boneless bra. That's just with no underwire. That's just an underwireless bra. <laughs> I want pizza now, but I spent too much money last night. I going also to the want pizza. I may have pizza tomorrow when, when we do double <laughs> cookie. Mm. I literally ate a pizza just before coming on to go home. Well, half of one. Someone asked go earlier... To tomorrow. Someone asked earlier if uh, my appetite went up now that I'm off my ADHD meds. Mm, not really. It's hard to tell. Maybe a little bit, but like, I also was a, I was eating a lot less in general, and that's where the weight loss came from. So I think if anything, it just mm -hmm. I won't be losing weight anymore, doing as little as I have been. But I think it'll it'll help a bit. Still, I think it'll still be mostly muted appetite. Oh, I need 500, not 400. Fuck. Alright, well that... That cut down on some of it, but I'm still missing some.
If you're experienced, if you experience weight loss, then what's your HD ADHD meds too long? No, because ADHD meds, some of them are also weight loss meds. They just conveniently work together. So like like I've said before, I was like 237, 240 in that range when I at the beginning of the year, 235-ish. And now I am 205. No, not even. I was 202 the other day. Hmm. So I lost a shit ton of weight this year. I actually lost more weight than when I tried Rosa on for the first time, so if I ever have to get back in that cosplay, things are gonna be awkward. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, it's because the ADHD meds curb your appetite, so you eat less, and I also gave up a bunch of foods that were bad for me for the most part while I was going on with that, so just a general, a lot of things worked out for me. Yeah, I remember after my last checkup, uh, they're just like, yeah, you need to lose a bit of weight. So I just like, I looked at what my meals were. I'm just like, do I need to be eating as much as I was when I was in high school doing martial arts like three times a week? Probably not. So I mo more or less split most of my meals in half. I, s I have problems with remembering to eat. I, uh... Every doctor I've been to tells me, eat rice. <laughs> you weigh, you are too underweight. I'm like, this is my family, you, you man. A, you a skinny boy, man. You are, you're very skinny. I am very skinny. Um, I eat enough to keep me going. I forget to eat anything else. I'm just not, a, I'm not really hungry a lot of the time. Yeah, I think and I... even if, even if I do eat, I don't gain weight. It doesn't happen. I have eaten a ton before. missing there we go that's everything i think i think like a month ago i was within like five pounds of what i weighed in high school jeez i, I think i think i am currently lighter than i was in high school i gained a little bit more recently because just decided to eat a little bit more but eh. i'm in the i'm in the healthy weight if we want to believe that bmi actually means something Apparently, if I can stay at below 200, I will be in the healthy weight. I'm apparently really close to it. But I got blood work done this week to check like my blood acidity and a bunch of other stuff that I had to get checked. Mm. And normally, they take a bit to, to hit me up to get me mm -hmm. results. They called me within 24 hours, and I'm like, oh, is this bad? Mm. <laughs> Should I be concerned? Sometimes. Because they're checking my testosterone, they're checking my my blood acidity, they're checking my um, my blood sugars, they're checking a bunch of stuff. So uh, Reese is like, well, you did tell them you were going to go on a trip, so maybe they're trying to get in beforehand. But like th with this doctor, I'm normally like, no, this probably means something's bad. You're just reminding me now. I got my medic uh, checkup results for the every year company sends me to get a checkup. This is my second one. Oh shoot, I, I should probably read this. I haven't doing these, I forgot about this. Oh, you had to do a perfect on Dr. Shimp? Ew. What do the skill points even do? Oh, collect skill points to unlock parts one and two of the art gallery. Never mind. Oh, okay. Yep, th this is exactly the same things I said last time. Thin, low body mass index, nutritional balance needed. I reject this. Like I said, all of this was just like, if we believe BMI actually means something. All right, well, that is it for Spyro. The other one is pro Proteinuria. I don't know what that one is. 41% through the game. At the rate this game keeps coming up, we will beat this in the next couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> is your testosterone low? I Apparently, I'm on the, not in the dangerously low range, but I'm in the very low range of normal. So I'm still normal, but like on the cusp of not. BMI is the Myers-Briggs of the health world. Look, look, Dan, mm -hmm. I you, you gotta know your Myers-Briggs letters, my dude. You gotta know, <laughs> if I'm not an INTJ, what am I supposed to do with my resume? Mm -hmm. I think I INTJ is that. actually one you could be. <laughs> no, that's the thing we're poking fun at. <laughs> 
I'm an INTP, but I took that in uh, 10 years ago in school. I have ESPN. I'm very psychic. Jesus. All right, let's let's. Uh, I know you're quoting a movie, but yeah. Let's go to <laughs> let's go to the cookie. Well, I was misquoting uh, Total Drama. Oh, I thought that was a bit from Mean Girls for some reason. I thought. Eh, uh, maybe. Maybe. All right, gentlemen, you keeping your games? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm choosing something else. And provided I don't get sick because Reese is not Reese has got a cold or something she's fighting off. Oh no. And I, I got a I had a touch of it earlier today, but I seem to be fine for the most part today. In the original Spyro two and three, he's like half the cast. Hilarious. So he's like the Billy West of this game. Oops. Shit. Well, I guess he's <laughs> here now. Damn. Oh. Sorry. That I wasn't looking at my at my stream deck. Normally, that button I pressed is my timer. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I was on the wrong screen for it. All right, we are forty-one percent through Spyro One, all through Cookie Choices. Oh my goodness, this is clearly not, a popular one. I have not played this on my own time. All of this has been from Cookie segments. Spyro 1, Clancy Brown is half the cast. I can also believe that. We'll probably beat this before Xenoblade. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> We've made some decent Xenoblade progress. Oops. I ran right. Especially if I keep playing like that, we're definitely not going to beat this first. I got you. Just got to remember all the buttons. Now observe while Proton John relearns the controls midway through the game. This will be happening every time we play this game, because it's usually like a month or two in between every time we fucking play this. And I did not grow up with the Spyro game, so this is always like a weird thing to get used to. Mm-hmm. I remember my little brother loved this game, but I never never did play it. Yeah, the, um, the PS1 games I played growing up... Duke Nukem! <laughs> Uh, Duke Nukem, Mortal Kombat 4, Metal Gear Solid, Gran Turismo, Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, I was say for me it was Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 9, Mega Man Legends. I think, was it, yeah, uh, one of the games me and my cousin, I don't remember which one of us pushed to rent it more. Probably me, because I was the one who was super into Duke Nukem at the time. Uh, Duke Nukem, not Land of the Babes, what was the one before that? Time to Kill, there we go. Loved playing that game for some reason, and it's, it's the game that got me into stabbing Westward of all bands. Because they did uh, they did the theme song for the game, The Thing I Hate, which is a really, really good track if you've never heard it before. Alright, what stages have we even done so far? Let's see here. Just Alpine Ridge, that's all we've done. So let's go do the high caves. Oh, why yeah. did you hate? Why did you hate the soundtrack? What? No, I love the soundtrack. What are you talking about? You did kind of make it sound like you weren't too fond of the theme. Oh, I fucking love stabbing westward. Sorry, that, if that did not come across that way. Well, I love. You stabbing said you liked stabbing westward, but you weren't fond of the Spyro theme. Is what no. you made it sound like. What? Never mind. Apparently, I'm I'm goofed. You said the soundtrack was the thing I hate, uh, guys. That's the name of the song. <laughs> Oh. The song is called The Thing I Hate. <laughs> oh. So the who's on stage? Yeah, the exactly. Band, the band. Who's the band? Third base. Third base. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Stabbing Westward's very, like, heavy. Heavy, somewhat emo-ish. Maybe not emo. But yeah, very, pretty, pretty heavy. Very grungy. It's literally a, a music video of Duke Nukem shooting a bunch of pig cops as the singer screams, I won't become the thing I hate. And then there's just a bunch of strippers around him. That's, that's, it's the quintessential Duke Nukem experience, that fucking nice. music video. Sadly, I cannot show it on stream for, I think, a multitude of reasons. I wonder but, why. Well, it's that the music is why I can't show it on stream. 
Right, it's the Weirdly the enough, the strippers would actually be okay because it is in context <laughs> of the game yep. itself. Welcome to Twitch, everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If a game has nudity and it is not the main focus of the game, it is okay to show as long as you don't fucking zoom in on it. So yeah. we would be able to show it based on that. But there's some games yeah, where you just you can't get away with it, like one of the games that Villain gave me, Playboy, the video game. <clears throat> nice. Or Playboy the Mansion, whatever it's called. <laughs> yep. I helped a guy win a bet. Did I ever tell you that? No. No. <laughs> By buying you that game, I helped a guy win a bet. Um, so at MAGFest, where I purchased it, I believe that's where I got it, um, There, were, I went up to the like dealer's table and I leaned over and I was like, what's the one game you can't get rid of? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I was like, what's the best worst game that you have and you can't sell? And I will pay one dollar for it. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulled it out and he's like, this! And I was like, one dollar! There you go! And then, the, and then he like, waves his buddy oh, down, you know, working the other corner of the shop. And he's like, hey! Hey man! Hey man! I won our bet! Look! <laughs> he's like, points to me. He's like, I'm selling this copy of this game. And nice. he's like, and his buddy pulls out like 20 bucks. And I was like, <laughs> he turns to me, he's like, thank you. That's and then awesome. It, and then it explained that every convention, they had a bet amongst everyone who worked behind the table on who could convince someone to buy the worst game at their table. That's fantastic. Incredible. I'll a bet. I think that's I think that's actually a hard game to come across now. Um, Apparently, wouldn't check. surprise it's, me. I think a lot of people find like the disc, but not the box. Playboy or the Mansion for PS2. Silly. Complete is oh that's actually not that bad. Forty bucks Canadian. The yeah, Xbox version is dollar. twenty-five bucks Canadian, and the Strategy Guide is twenty-five dollars <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> Brady Games made a Playboy the Mansion strategy guy. I do believe, like, uh, twi the Twitch banned game list, this, that's like one of the few commercially available games, like, you could just buy it in a, you could have bought yeah. in a GameStop. Yep. I got it for a dollar. So, fun fact, apparently the guy who owns the uh, Playboy Mansion now is named Darren Metropolis. Metropolis. Does he have a secret alter ego? Uh, I do not know. Hold, hold up. He, Hank. Sorry. Try, taking away for a second. Playboy the Mansion isn't on the banned game list. <gasps> really? <laughs> Honey Pop 1 and 2 are. Yep. Honey, God, Honey I wonder Canister. why. Yeah. B me, BMX Triple year. X is still on there. <laughs> Playboy the Mansion is, in fact, not on the banned list. <laughs> The guy game is on there for many reasons. <laughs> Chad, you know what we must do. Oh no. Well, we know what's coming next. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, so much for my 1% chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mitch. Fuck. Blake John. That was a good fuck. God damn. <laughs> God, okay, that's clearly not where I'm supposed to be doing that. Remy, sit. Remy, speak. Fuck. <laughs> Just gonna delete that comment. <clears throat> and that one would have been fine. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's try over here then, if we're having no luck with that. Ah, if it's not on the list, you can make the argument that it wasn't on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I can be the edge case! Hooray! <laughs> Yay! So much for that thousand dollars the extra month. Oh yeah, Woo! I'm the reason this rule exists. Hooray! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How do I kill this thing? With fire. No, I can't because it's metal. I'm stuck underneath it. I actually cannot move. There we go. There we go. Spider, kill with fire. You're dead. Oh, dead. 
It was only a matter of time before you came an edge case for something. That's true. <laughs> See, because of me, they had to put a warning. Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <sighs> D, for reference's sake, it is it is rated M for mature. It's not rated AO. <laughs> So, for the plebeians in the crowd, including myself, what is this game about? It is a manager, it's a simulation game where you run the Playboy Mansion. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but you can also just randomly have sex with women, because of course you can. It's nice. one of the perks of the job! God damn it, alright. Do I need to do to actually kill this guy? Spider. Yeah. Hey. Are there tits in it? Are there tits? Yeah, yeah. Yes, but they might be covered in bikini. So, may not be bare tits, but there might be tits. <laughs> and I agree, Boogie. It sounds sus. Very sus. Hmm. And it's not banned? It's because I believe the nudity is censored, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, you sound very confident in that, John. I, I have not played. I think I played the game once. <laughs> Ironically, I think also on stream, because I think we had the exact same realization years ago. <laughs> See, the real trick is to realize it's actually not that good of a game. Might as well just read the magazine for the article. I need to be going on the, the turbo speed. Okay, I had a feeling that was something like that. Ah. Mm. It's a. Uh, it's not a. It's not th th that word kind of game. It's. Yeah. Uh, they. They don't know it exists. A, it, it's it's a so bad. Sim. It's a business. It's God. A business so. So is one of the Honey Pop games, isn't it? Don't they manage like a porn studio? A honey yeah. cam. Honey cam. Yeah. Honey cam. Yeah. It's a. It's a. Um. Yes. <laughs> and, and, yes. and adult, I love it. Yes. An That's adult the yes. agency. Yeah, management. you don't you don't see anything like in it. Like I think the trophies you get for beating a stage are like or dick shit. Yeah, That's about like, it. It's got like zero nudity. Yeah. But it, it talks about things like cake farts and stuff like that. So it's just like yeah. Yeah, it's got it's got. Um, oh, not cake farts. It's got toys and fetishes and the use of drug, alcohol, um, and the insinuation. Of so you know, just everyday stuff. Yeah. <laughs> in actual honey pop you get nudity yeah oh yeah yes. yeah regular honey pop. actual honey pop yeah that there's a good reason for yeah. that and there's like a yeah. an actual nudity patch why are these <clears throat> just chilling yeah. here what's going on here and the whole like patch. The whole... isn't the game straight up just regular like that? no 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 no, no. you have to patch in the 18 plus nudity oh yep. no shit <laughs> yeah, it, it's a free it's patch, patch free. from what i remember yeah it's, it's free and like right off their website or whatever i was gonna say apparently the copy i got then was just straight up like that you can just get it on the, it's just on steam straight up just like oh, okay you want nudity go for it just click this <laughs> it, co it doesn't cost anything um and then for honey pop 2 it has a toggle like it's got a um, combining your it's just got a in the settings and gliding and really explore the high cave Ooh, else indeed. I was what? playing Honey Pop 2 just last night, and I was trying to. I was going on infinite dates, see how long far I could get. Infinite nice. dates. Mm hmm. Isn't it's like marriage? after after the boss. Um, it's like post end game. <laughs> I fucking keep forgetting that game. It's like bosses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Nymphogen! <laughs> That's it's a word. Great! <laughs> There's there's your review, Honey Pop. The Nymphogen. It's great. It's great. It's wonderful. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to um, unlock more of the like in-game currency so that I could buy all the outfits to like get all the achievements. And it was fun. It's fun mind numbing. It's a really great puzzle, puzzle game. Puzzle sliders usually are mind numbing. It's a really great puzzle game. Like I had to think really, really hard. Oh no, I, I won't lie. Yeah, the, the the puzzle aspect of it is actually pretty good. Fantastic. It's just one where I've got to quickly minimize before somebody walks in the room. <laughs> yeah, that that's the kicker. You gotta be like, all right, am I am I around people that this won't make me feel awkward? I'm doing or am I alone? Yes, good. Yeah. Yeah, the puzzles are, are great. It's got a really great, uh, especially. I wasn't sure what they would do in in Honey Pop Two when they announced uh, the sequel coming out. 
but um, like to spruce up the puzzles. Really great mechanic that they came out in my opinion. It's very challenging. Oh my god, <laughs> god I live alone. Has to do. I don't what? Right now. Somebody in chat's like, thank god I live alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I remember that. Jules Discord, like, he, <laughs> he... like, No, he, like, walked away from his stream for, like... He, like, left it on. And it was, like, on... He had done, like, Honey Pop, so, like, he clocked up, like, 15-plus hours oh, yeah. of, of playing it. Yeah, he left the game running like overnight and tabbed out. Yeah. <laughs> Clocked like days. Like I remember like 40, that. That was shit. forty straight yeah, hours. Because he had it on Steam. And he just yeah. like it just showed like he had had like so many hours in the game and he hadn't touched it. Yeah. <laughs> Steam to your friends. Your buddy's playing porn. I think that's the exact joke he made. Oh yeah. Yeah. Totally. God damn it. How did I make this no problem the first time? Now I can't. You have to like jump early so you don't dumb get luck. Tight. Yeah, dumb luck. That's usually it. Wiggle in the Didn't air. Didn't Reese so also leave Freddy Fish one on for like a hundred hours straight? Yeah, but she eventually started yeah. doing that on purpose because people kept pointing it out. Yeah. Oops. There we go. Oh, but you. Dang. I, I let go of the stupid button. <laughs> stupid button. So I assume like the pink and the glasses are like some kind of skin you have. Yes, it's a it's a cheat code. Yeah. Whee. I was gonna say because I know my my kid was watching like uh what is it, Skylanders isn't he in that? Yep. Series. Yeah. yeah. He's the like head mascot. He, he yeah. was. I don't. I don't know. If there really is one anymore. But yeah, there used. It used to just be Spyro. You just jump across it. Yeah. Give me that egg. Egg. Oh, I. I totally forgot to tell you about this. I had some. I was at a Ren Fair, um, probably three or four weeks ago. And I had somebody straight up ask me, what the fuck's with the the egg with glasses? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Oh, did you have the pin on, or...? Yeah, I had one of the pins on my backpack, and I had just... I was waiting in line for food, and this couple behind me is like, what the hell is with that pin? <clears throat> I've had, uh... Every so often when I like use my Prime or I get a gift sub to John's channel and I'm hanging out in like the other furry streams where they're birds, like they're bird sonas. Um, anytime the mention of eggs comes up, I just drop every possible egg emote that I possibly can <laughs> from John's Discord. Nice. And everyone freaks out about how good they look. <laughs> they <just> have glasses <laughs> on. Oh. I I will throw out to chat too. You know, if I, I do still have a ton. If I catch you at a at a convention with a John shirt on, I do give away free uh, Proton John pins. Oh, that's great. I will also give guys I, a heads up. If you like pins, you may see more options showing up soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. The merch um, store is coming back with some good stuff sweet. from the community. Very awesome. A Rosa John sweater would count, yes. It doesn't have to be merch that I used to sell. It has to just be anything Proton John in general. Yeah. I throw I throw anybody that's sporting anything Proton John a pin. I have two Proton. Uh, no, no bras, my god. Bras. No, I- John, sell me a sports bra. Dude. Do you want a bra from me? <laughs> Do you want me to sell you a bra? Yes! You actually want me to sell you a bra? Yeah, I want I want the the baby blue with the star on it sports bra, Razorback. I, I mean, John, love one. As a former merch guy, you know if the market demands it, do it. I I own now. Um, I got one from the Target Pride line, and I got one from Nomad Complex, which is a furry store. Back when they still sold um, merch for. Damn. Femme presenting people. Um, 
And they're so heckin' fucking comfy. I buy like a 3X just to like have extra- I don't wear it like a sports bra for support. I wear it like loungewear, like pajamas. I wear a 3X and your hoodie design on a Razorback sporty like lounge bra. I Yes, I 100% buy. Take my money. <sighs> Rosie, write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, I am helping. I'm helping. You know what? I may not be the merch man anymore, but I am suggesting how John can make a little bit of a cheddar on the side. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, if if we get the store going again more active and one of the best-selling items is the bras, I will be furious. <laughs> jo <laughs> no, John, you will be not surprised because that's what's going to happen. Yeah. I like the ones that I have because like they're they actually do fit really really nice um, without having like a cup size. Like they just come in small, medium, large, extra large, because like, um, they're not meant to be supportive. They are meant to be loungewear, like pajamas. They fit really really nice. The print goes on them really really nice. Even with uh, uh, my size tits, the fabric doesn't stretch so much that I lose the design like sometimes that happens with a lot of stretch fabrics that have something printed on them like so that's because printed. it's sublimation printing yeah when that ha I lose the design on some things like mm -hmm. the, the ones uh, that I have um, they they don't uh, they don't lose the design too bad they're not too see-through either they're super comfy I wear them like pajamas and I love your hoodie. I, bu I bought the hoodie. Uh, Troy wears it now, but more than I do. Because um, <clears throat> we were like the same size. Um, but like, yeah, I would 100% wear like a crop top or a <laughs> racer back, racer back lounge bra, bralette, even. If I Write it down, it. Rosie. Write it down. Rosa Hoodie Day at Meg, I will definitely tell Troy. That would actually be really good. Yeah, yeah. I was I was gonna wear it on Halloween night, I was just gonna go as like Rosa John at home. Oh my god. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was uh it was it was a last minute idea, Troy's idea actually. I was going to um blood services to donate blood on Halloween night, because that's what I do. That's my quirk. Oh. Um I didn't end up getting uh, being able eligible to donate. My hemoglobin was too low. Um, oh. But I, I live like right around the corner from it. I'm totally doxing myself. I live right around the corner from it. So I was just going to walk there and it was already dark and it was foggy out. And I was putting on my like sweater jacket and it's like charcoal what? gray. And Troy like points to the Rosa hoodie and is like, I'd, I'd feel more comfortable if you wore this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're more visible because it's bright blue and it's, mm. it's right. It's beautiful. Um, but uh, it, uh, it was the wrong, it's the wrong like texture for me. Rosa John hoodies are sold out. Well, about that, that'll be also changing soon. I was say restocks happen, folks. Restock is planning to happen very soon. The the store is gonna have a ton of new stuff in it very soon. I, I almost wonder if we should tease something that we have going into the shop today or not. I'm wondering if we should Ooh, do that. Ooh, yes, let's. But it depends because the person who made it and the person who's helping me manage it will probably have to both give the okay for that. Oh, that's Bras? Fair. No, it's not bras. But it's not a bra, it's a t-shirt I want to show off. My God, guys, there are no bras currently planned for the merch relaunch. What about the uh, the thongs? Are we doing the thongs? Oh no, my god! Panties? I want oh, one. Can we do a bra and panty set? Oh, that'd be nice. Like boy, like boy short and like lounge. I just, I just I'm want. Send a I just want to go on record. This is not my fault. I just want to go on record. This is not my fault. Everyone around me is like this. I just Chat, want. This is totally with... John's fault. This he is... spurred all this. I did fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to know a secret chat? He's usually all for this when it's nobody around. <laughs> He's never going to let me on stream again, guys. I'm going to say that for the record, you, you, right? You say now. that every time. I know. Time. Never coming back. Mm -mm. This is like the mystery <laughs> box like, skit from Sesame do. Street, except John keeps shouting, No, it is not a bra. <laughs> no, it is not a cookie. No, it is not a cookie. Mm, cookie. No, it is, yeah, why don't you sell cookies? I, uh -oh. If I if I could sell cookies, I would. Sell some cookies. 
If anything, he needs to sell eggs. I mean, none of this would have happened if you didn't exist. Ah, oh, shit, you got me there, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. You, you started when you said you don't care about being drawn as a girl. This is what it evolved into. A, <laughs> a merch, a bra merch line. I didn't expect it. Oh my god, <laughs> My fucking merch manager's like, okay, but Rosa sports bra binder though, clean as fuck. But mm. yes, pride wear. Me, me and you need to talk, you know, former and current, you know. <laughs> uh, what are we doing again? Uh, we were playing a game at some point. Uh, anyways, uh, CK14500 kills real with kindness and bullets and says, since my birthday was on Friday, the usual must happen for luck. Happy birthday, CK. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry slash congratulations. It's this stream. Rosa right. Chucks, hell yes. I mean, I'd be down for that. All right, let me let me go find the picture. Rosa for... Chucks. Uh, we have a shirt, a new shirt design coming to the store. I think, was this the finished one? Let me make sure they're okay with me showing. Well, I know the artist is. Let me make sure the manager's also okay with it. Well, those are fun. Why well, is the tit slash bra talk always happen during <laughs> both the Tom Kenny games? That's just how it happens here. Mm. That's just how it happens. All right, so this is uh, this is a shirt design that is coming soon. This is a YouTube design. Uh, because I've talked about for years, always wanted to do a Death Water shirt, and I figured the only way to do a Death Water shirt was actually just to make oh. it a uh, a metal band shirt. Oh design. my god! I love it. So I think it also looks good as a poster. So we might also also offer that. But like, this is this has been in the works for a little bit. It just it's just gonna look like a heavy metal uh, band shirt. We couldn't use the actual name Led Zeppelin. So we wrote Steel Blimplin, Steel Blimplin. instead. <laughs> I love it. I want one. That's great. I, I, want, I want first dibs. All right. It'll, it'll be coming in. <laughs> Put it on a bra. No. Uh, it'll be coming to the shop <laughs> soon-ish. <laughs> trying to remember exactly everything that we had coming to the shop. Two different pin sets, the Rosa Hoodie restock, the Death Water shirt, and two mouse pads. I believe that is the current... Mm. The current plan for the merch shop reboot. I will say you do have my blessing to use any and all old designs. That's true. We are spacing out the shirt designs too, because I forget we were gonna bring back the raid shirt, I think, but we I was gonna that's the one I was thinking of. We need to bring that one back. I forget why what did did you give yeah, yes. Gave yes. I, com I I commissioned that shirt, and I I have full rights to it, and I I let you have it. So I mean, let this be ref for the record. John has full rights to the raid shirt, and I'll get in touch with the artist and make sure he knows that I've given you the permission to use. I it. I don't. I'm just trying to remember where the files are. Do you have the files still? Oh, absolutely. Okay, then then I'll hand it off to yeah. to Rosie, and then we'll at least have it in. Yeah, I know. I'll send book. it. I'll send it to whoever needs it. Yes, and Gex is reminding me the eggnog shirt. <laughs> yeah, because what is it? Uh, there was the eggnog shirt. There was the raid shirt. Uh, you can um, still. Oh, that one's already dead. Okay. I still have master files for the the original one too. Ye that Amanda did. Yeah, we like, that one's still available in the shop. Like, there's still a couple sizes it? left on that one. Okay. Yeah, because right now the TRG shirt still has a couple sizes available. The the egg farm shirt still has a couple sizes available. Uh, you can go ahead and say that if you want. But oh, I probably should have said that by the way. I I just realized they just asked if they could have mentioned it. That the Deathwater shirt done by Cupo. Uh, Cupo did the oh, design nice. for that. So I'm trying to keep new shirts and pins and stuff in the community because I would like you guys to get some kickbacks from it as well. Uh, but. I also got to go with people that can match what exactly I'm going for on stuff. So don't don't feel oh, bad yeah. if uh, if you pitch a merch idea and I'm like I don't go for it, or if I do go for it with a different artist, basically. <laughs> yeah, I still have my original egg shirt too, and my god, if that print doesn't breathe, holy hell! <laughs> That's like the biggest sweat spot whenever I wear that damn thing. Yeah, it uh it wrinkles in a weird way over my bust. Yes. 
small. They, they, it, it, it just small now. Who, whoever did the Twitch shirts, you know, they just they laid that screen print on way thick. It was um shit. Teespring, Teespring did it. Ah. I remember you saying though that your artist had like specifically like intentionally put in breaks in the design so that it wasn't one solid yeah i i i well i'd ask that too for like a weathered there was a weathered look for it oh oh my god i can't tell you how much time it took me to patch that up too that yeah i'm sorry about that oh oh my god that took me days to like take each individual hole out of that but i mean i needed it for this for the stickers and everything too Mm -hmm. Oh, true. You actually had to you had to fix it too. Well, it's just that. a matter of I, I probably could have reached out to a man and said, "Hey, do you have one without it?" I just didn't. I didn't know her at the time to- well enough to say, "Hey, I'm taking over on this design. Can you send me the fi- the master files?" Yeah, yeah. It was probably just a transparency mask that they could. Oh on. yeah. Well, I mean, it's a it's a. <laughs> I've done I've done the plug in myself on some other other designs. So I mean, it's yeah. really easy to do. Oh, but oh, so close. I mean, for anybody that knows Illustrator, all I did was a live trace and then had to patch up all the holes. But no, I mean, if you need, like, like even the emotes, if you want to do something with the emotes, dude, I've, I've still got all the master files for those. I'd be happy to let you have them. I mean, the plan, oops, the plan right now is, um, like, I want to do more TRG stuff because there's very little TRG stuff. Like, the, one of the pin sets is mm-hmm. TRG related. I think I showed oh, that off wonderful. in the I w- past. I okay. want... Fuck! Does anyone remember if I've ever shown off the TRG pins or not? I feel like those would have hit the subreddit or something, and I haven't seen anything. I am getting worse at this game. There's also a way back in there, is it? Not recently, at least. All right, hang on. Let me let me find those pictures. I, I mean, I feel like be, beyond what I've made and what Crazy Sunshine has made, I don't have any any pins of yours. Uh, there we go. Right, open a new tab because I don't want you seeing the email in the background, or it could just not do that. Cool, thanks, appreciate <laughs> it. Glad you got my back here. Click, drag, and boom. Those are pins you're making? Yes. <gasps> oh my god, I want now. I love the player. I wanted like an 8 and 16 <laughs> bit mix of them, so it's Fuck yes. pin, pins of myself, Tim, Emil, player 4, which you had represented with a robot, and the TRG logo. Is it safe to assume those are probably coming live at Coliseum? Mm, sooner than that. Ideally, in the next month. Oh ideally, my God. ideally, they will be up Sold for, for pre-order. For, they will be. They don't think they'll ship out before Christmas, sadly. But uh, ideally, the pre-order should be up before Christmas. I want. I want. I want. Those are awesome. Yeah, and if people want those, like, so the thing is, if people like those enough, I was going to do uh, a try to get a set done in that same style for all of Coliseum, so we could have a Coliseum yes! set you could buy. Yes, absolutely. Am I just gonna be able to get it from here? Is this will this actually work? Yeah, fucking hell! Of course it did. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, always overthinking. Uh, the, we're that's distracting. The John yeah. That's the John motto and guarantee. Always overthinking. I'll bring it back. Bio okay. break. Yes, who is the artist of the pins, John? That is Drew Wise, I do believe. That one's outside the community. Did they do, the, were they the ones that did the, uh, oh god, um, the Earthbound style of you all? I know somebody uh, did a No, no, that was not them. That was not them. They're not, okay. they're not a community member. Oh, okay. They've done a lot of work for the Yeti, for Gerard. Oh, and okay. So I, th- I think I know who you're talking about now. Because I think I, I, might, I might have worked alongside them when I did a bunch of stuff for MAGFest back in the day, but. Yes, that would be them. Okay, okay, I, I'm familiar with them then. So yeah, those pins do well enough. I'll try to get a Coliseum set done for like call, all regular Coliseum members. That would be most excellent. What well, kind of pins are there? They're gonna be enamel pins. Um, I forget what size we're going for. Was it an inch and a half? Oh, those are big. 
Maybe not inch, inch and a half. I forget what the standard size is. We'll figure something out. I say it's typical size is about between three quarters and a full inch. Rosie's the one who's been kind of handling the contact point with that, so she would probably have it more fresh in her mind than I would at the moment. Actually, I also I think I can just check the, the merch server to double check that. Let me see here. Well, yeah, definitely, definitely yeah, have her in, getting inch, touched. Uh, yeah, it's an inch to 1.25 inch. It'll be somewhere okay. in that range. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say have her definitely get in touch with me. Uh, I'll I'll hook I'll hook her up with like all the like at least like a Google Drive of all the master files I've got. Yeah, no, by all means. I mean, you're already on that. You're yeah, you're on the server for the oh for the zine. Yeah, for okay. the zine. I was, I was like, right, no, that's been announced, right? We can say the fanzine exists. Yeah, so you're on that sorry. server, so you can reach oh, out to them. Fuck, there. I'm sorry if I if I oh geez, I wasn't thinking about that. <clears throat> Would you be able to attach them to your shirts? I mean, <laughs> they're they're like enamel pins, so yes. Like, they, they could attach to anything that you can attach pins to. Sweet. And funny oh, enough, I've been talking to Rosie, and I didn't realize that's who we were talking about. Because <laughs> they go. just pinged me on Discord. Yeah. Everybody oh, stretch. That's why they're in the mod. I was looking in the mod room, like, why are there pictures of, like, sports bras? And, and bras oh, I put there? those in there. Yeah, and then I realized that. <laughs> Make it a Coliseum donation prize, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. I'm That would be fun to do. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Like, I want... Uh, the, it has to exist for... Here's the thing. I I have been... This this is a personal thing, and I'm going to assume this is because of ADHD. Uh, I've been making ideas and getting stuff, like, started, but it's not... None of it's been finished and finalized, which is why I had to get someone to actually, like, handle the finalization on things, because I can come up with ideas all the fucking well, time. I just Welcome to the world of design. Yes, I needed yeah. someone who could help me like, here, let's actually finish this. So I, that's why I've had Rosie helping me with the, the finishing part of things. Um, so yeah, it's, as, it's good to have a manager. That's the yeah. it's always the biggest thing I get. I hear like from my other friends that do like Kickstarters and pin sets and stuff is they have ideas. And the only thing they always say that they would have done different was get a manager. <laughs> Yeah, so that that's it now. Like now, if it seems like things are suddenly appearing out of nowhere, it's because I'm like, I can't do this on my own. I need someone else to actually do this for me. So that's mm -hmm. that's why things are actually happening now. Yay! Things happening. I like I said, there's a there's a TRG pin set coming. There's a smaller stream pin set coming. There's the mouse pads, which we showed off ages ago, are finally coming. Uh, the booby mouse pad and the bagel mouse pad. Uh, da, 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 da. And the Death Water shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People wanted it. I don't know why I caved on that, but I'm the bras. I'm like, no, 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 no bras. <laughs> no, I would, I would definitely wear a powder blue bra with Rose's star. Totally. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Okay. No. <laughs> But then, here's the thing, because then I have to fucking so wear it, too, because of the fucking costumes. I'm like, oh, God, anything I make, I have to wear myself. What am I fucking done to my life? Oh, they fit all sizes. They, they work great on flat chesters. It's fine. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to put the boobs on. No, oh, it's got it's to be authentic. I'll definitely, we'll definitely put the boobs on, then. Uh, all right, let's go to the cookie. 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 We have a 1% rule again, and it was both the COCOM's choice. All right, let me put that in. This is, I'm going to put final round with a question mark, but it is likely the final round. So. Unless we want to take advantage of it being uh, daylight savings. But I don't know about that. I feel like you guys might want sleep more. Maybe that's just me. 